yeah. Look, tell me what's the vibes, what's the moves. Yeah, I just hit a mic key for the juice. Yeah, ain't no captain, I'ma tell the truth. I've been running for so long, it's hard to lose. Deal, be my source, uh, Christian, like the York. Yeah, I can't stop when I'm far, I just get back up. Yeah, I've been quiet all along on my TV toes. Yeah, I can't keep it to myself, I just give and go. I'm a visionist, yeah, you can't picture this, yeah, ain't no way you cannot work me, boy, I live for this, yeah, sipping essential, that's the essential, I'm influential, yeah, so fundamental, that's fundamental, on instrumentals, yeah, speed of the tempo, yeah, we got potential, shit a movie like I'm Denzel, running my route to the end zone, and he's looking to find me, man, you know where to find me, I'm trying to get me a Grammy, so I can dedicate it to my granny, look, tell me what's the vibes, what's the moves, yeah, I just hit on my key for the juice. Yeah, ain't no captain, I'ma tell the truth. I've been running for so long, it's hard to lose. Deal, be my source, uh, Christian, like the York. Yeah, I can't stop when I'm far, I just get back up. Yeah, I've been quiet all along on my TV toes. Yeah, I can't keep it to myself, I just give and go. Yeah, I just turn my L's into W's. Yeah, I just told my sins, yeah, I'm no two. Stay in your lane, don't you pick and choose I can't waste my time, I got a lot to lose To the game that we all on, they was doubting us all along Now we charting in Hong Kong, what competition they all gone Let's stress, play the game like it's chess We next, that's a check, over stripes, yeah, yeah Let's go Yankees. It felt so natural. As that is what I always do. I always start off with let's go Yankees. And yeah, I guess I can't do let's go Yankees right now. But anyway, I guess I can. Let's go Yankees. What who gives a poop? It is what it is. What are you gonna do? The Yankees aren't in it. Doesn't mean I can't say it. I can say what I want. All right. That's how it goes, baby. But anyway, folks. We have game two of the ALCS coming up. Game one yesterday, I got to tell you guys, it was a hell of a ball game. It was a really good game. And that is one of the main reasons why I enjoy calling postseason baseball because the games are typically very, very good and very good games. Um, And yesterday we had that, right? We had a very solid game. The Rangers end up holding off the um, Houston Astros and win game one in, in a big way, Jordan Montgomery was absolutely fantastic. A-Rod, as he always tends to do, took a shot at the New York Yankees because that is what A-Rod does, and God bless him. He should. Everybody should take shots at the Yankees. I always say it. Uh, they don't deserve to be, you know, hey, he's up on the Yankees. No, 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 no. I am more than okay with A-Rod taking his shots. Uh, you were told that you couldn't, your fastball couldn't make it in the postseason or you weren't a big game pitcher or whatever the hell it was. The Yankees said that. Our great GM said that. But anyway, let's see who we got in the chat before we get started here on uh, game two. Shane McNeil, Anthony Garcia, the great Dane of NYYU is in the chat. Camilla Simmons, Philo, what's up, brother? Shane McNeil, I'll double up on you, my guy. Mario the Goat Gomez, what's going on, brother? Bronx and nothing, baby, you know the deal. Johnny Pippi, Lois Simmons, Katie, how are you doing? What's good, what's good, what's good? Giovanni Ortiz, what's up, brother? Alexander Gordon, he goes, hear me out, Pete, forget the Yamamoto thing. I, Alexander Gordon, don't do this to me. Don't do that to me. I cannot forget my guy. And I will not forget my guy. Okay. Gene, how you doing, Gene? How are you doing? I I wouldn't say he's a wild card, though. He's faced some of the he's faced some of the best players in the planet. 
And here's one other thing. DJ Steals, what's up, brother? Here's the thing, guys. Here's the thing. What you got to understand about y Yamamoto could be two times the pitchers that Monty and Thorpe is. You're talking about a guy, and by the way, the Japanese league has gotten much better. So, yes, at one point it was like AAA baseball. I don't know. Those guys are becoming a lot more successful. Let me tell you something. From what I've heard and what I've seen and what I've been told about Yamamoto, you're looking at one of the best pitchers in the planet. You're looking at one of the best pitchers in the planet. And at the end of the day, does that mean he's going to come here and be unbelievable and he's going to be this 2 ERA guy? I don't know. But you got a guy that three years in a row pitched to a one-something ERA in a league that is not bad. I don't care if it's AAA. What prospect do you see do that? Does any prospect pitch to a one ERA as a starter in AAA? Not at all. Not at all. Yamamoto is the get. Let me tell you something. The pitchers coming from Japan have not been misses. And some people bring up Fujinami to me. Let me tell you something about Fujinami real quick. Go back to my video on Fujinami. What did I say? Everyone says he's a pen arm, not a starter. When he moved to the bullpen, he was a much better pitcher. He was a much better pitcher based on everything. All I'll say right now, get Yamamoto. He is the smartest move, smartest business move. And on top of that, if I'm Jordan Montgomery, it's like I said yesterday. Why do I want to come back to the Yankees for? For what reason? I'm pitching for the, for the Texas Rangers right now. Why would I want to come to the, to the New York Yankees? Why should I go back to the Yankees after they didn't believe in me? Why should I go back to the Yankees after they said my stuff wasn't good enough? How about I pitch with teams that are in the postseason? I'll do that. Let's see if Texas is going to pay me. The Rangers got a lot of money. They can easily bring Montgomery back, no problem. Give Monty the money and apologize? No, 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 no. If I'm Monty, that was your guy's mistake. Now eat it. Eat it, Yankees. Take a walk, all right? I'm not dealing with your bums no more. I wouldn't deal with these bums no more. That's it. Let's tell the Yankees to take a walk if I'm Montgomery. And it is Halloween, folks, so today I have the mug of death. All right, I got the mug of death today. Oh, this is a beauty. Isn't this a beauty? Look at this thing. The mug of death. <laughs> oh, that's good. Oh, that's good, folks. That is delicious. No coffee today. No coffee today, all right? The Yankees did Monty dirty. He should look at them and say, let me tell you something. Let me tell you something, Yankees. Do me a favor. Take a walk. Go walk away. I don't want to talk to you guys. I'm not even interested. If I'm Jordan Montgomery, I am staying with the team I am playing for right now. I am with the team... I am staying with right now, and that is indeed the Texas Rangers. Pete Simonetti on 1016. It's Halloween. Now, Halloween, Halloween for me is is uh what is it? Right after um September, uh, mid-September. Halloween starts for me. Big Halloween guy. Big Halloween guy. <clears throat> Time out, Pete. Remember last year I was telling you Monty could do something in the playoffs? I never disliked it, Monty. He took too long. That's the exact you go. See, I didn't have to say it. You said it for me. I didn't dislike Monty. I can't watch him pitch. Last year, I could not watch Monty pitch. He was the most boring pitcher ever. And let me tell you something. Pitch clock made him better. The pitch clock made him better. Rhythm means something for starting pitching. And it made him better. No doubt about it. But at the end of the day, I'll say this about Montgomery right now. Again, why go back to the team that didn't believe in you, didn't think you were a mid-rotation guy, didn't think you were good enough to make the playoff roster, and did not make you pitch the way you wanted to pitch? No, 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 no. Go ahead and stay with the Texas Rangers, Monty. Do your thing. Stay with the team who actually believed in you. That's the way to go. That's the way to go. That's the way to go. <clears throat> That's the way to go, Monty, all right? As you see, Frember Valdez. 
warming up for the Texas Rangers. Big start for him. Excuse me, warming up for the Houston Astros. My bad. Big, big start for him. As he will face off against Marcus Simeon, Corey Seager, and Grossman. The funny thing is, I talked about this on All Rise this morning, folks. I talked about this on All Rise. At the end of the day, look at these teams' lineups. How much do they change day in and day out? They don't. They don't. Why would the Yankees offer Jordan Montgomery five years, $125 million when they told him to take a hike? <laughs> that to me, he's a backup plan. He's a backup plan if Yamamoto doesn't work. That's, that's the only thing I see with Montgomery and the Yankees. Backup plan if it doesn't work out. But here we go, folks. We are ready to rock and roll as stepping into the, into the plate. Into it, onto it, stepping up to the plate. That's the word I'm looking for. Pete Sterling early on, folks. Marcus Simeon, who really needs to get his shit going because a lot of guys on this team is hitting, besides the man sitting at top of the order and Marcus Simeon, the first pitch. Hit on the ground. There's a base hit up the middle. Just like that, Simeon with a big single. I told Mario and Kev yesterday, I don't know why I feel this. I don't know why I feel this way. I don't know why I feel this way. I feel like they're going to beat up Framber Valdez. And I don't like saying things like that early because I don't want to put the kibosh on it. I don't want to jinx anything. But I think they may have a good game today to pitch. Seager pops it up to left field. There's a base hit. A blooper. And just like that, it is first and second. Nobody out for the Texas Rangers on two pitches. First and second, nobody out. And that'll bring up Robbie Grossman. Does a good job against left-handed pitching. That's what he's in here for today. Pitch. Low and inside, 1-0. So it would be imperative for the Texas Rangers to get off to a fast start right here. Today is, of all these pitching today, tomorrow is Max Scherzer. Excuse me, I think they're off tomorrow. But Max Scherzer will start game three. Is the 1-0. Low, 2-0. 2-0. Jacob, I'm doing good. Alex, what's up, brother? <clears throat> Two and zero oh on Robbie Grossman. First and second, no body out. Pitch fouled away. Good rip right there by Grossman, and the count is two and one. Got a hundred people in here ready, guys. Hit that like button for me, and of course, hit that subscribe if you do not mind. As we are 70 subs away from 19,700. There's a call strike. Nice pitch by Framber Valdez. Low and inside. And the count is even at 2-2. Two and two. Look at that one worked back over the plate. Very nice pitch. 2-2 two, two and coming to Grossman. Pitch. Hit on the ground softly. Going to be a tough play. Bobbles it. Fires the first. Throws it away. And... The Rangers will take the lead. Second and third, nobody out. One to nothing, Texas. <laughs> sloppy play. Sloppy play all day or day. All day, every day. A little sloppy play. On the part of the Houston Astros. And Texas must capitalize. My friend Jeff, I got your text message, my friend. I hope you feel better and recover very, very quick, my friend. We appreciate you, my guy. 
Second and third, one nothing Texas. That'll bring up Adolis Garcia. Huge AB in this game. Huge AB in this game for Garcia, who has been good this postseason. Pitch from Frumber Valdez. Line is a base hit the right field. One run is in. That's all that will score. And to begin this game, the Texas Rangers are beating up Framber Valdez. 2-0 Rangers lead. First and third, nobody out. The Rangers are coming out hot right now. Still nobody out. That'll bring up the DH today, Mitch Garver. I don't know what happened to the home plate umpire's mask. It looks like it blew off his face. So Valdez is going to get a nice little rest right here to kind of collect himself potentially. Mark Ripperger. Ripperger. Mark Ripperger is the home plate um today. Great start for Texas. Great start for the Rangers. And they got Nate Avaldi on the mound who has, you know, Montgomery has looked good, but Nate has been absolutely phenomenal. So this is the start that you know the Rangers got to be very, very happy with. First and third, nobody out for the right-handed hitter Mitch Garver, who we know did some damage against the Baltimore Orioles. We're waiting for the home plate ump to get his helmet fixed or his face mask set back up. Alvaro, what's going on? Are the Diamondbacks the biggest surprise? I think they are, but they could win. They could win. Today means a lot for them. Today means a lot with Zach Gallen on the mound to bada bing, bada boom. But guys, like I said, um, game two of that series starts at eight. There's a possibility this game could still be going but I do plan on calling both. So if anything, I would switch out of this one when this game ends, and I'll start up uh, the AL NLCS game one immediately after that. You know, I keep telling myself, I need my, my throat to just get like a whole month off of relaxation, right? And then I can just make regular videos, but that's short. That's not talking for three or four hours. But I told myself, make it through until the end, and then you can relax a little bit. And you could just breathe and take it a bit easy, all right? Pitch to Garver is low, and the count is 1 0. Thank you, Swift. What's going on, my friend? Line to left field is a base hit. And just like that, it is 3 nothing Rangers, first and second, nobody out. This team is not effing around, folks. <laughs> telling you, man, one thing about having a manager like Bruce Bochy, I'm telling you guys, he has been here, he has done it, and he knows, knows what it takes, the mindset to win, he got this team locked in. That ball's fouled away by Jonah Heim, and the count is 0-1. He's got this team locked in like you can't even imagine. Guys, we're only at 41 likes. Do me a favor and hit that like button for me. Let's get to 100. The 0-1 is fouled away by Heim. Ripped foul, but the count is now 0-2. First and second, nobody out for the Rangers, and they're already up 3 0. Yankees, Kyle, what's up, my guy? David, what's up, fam fam? Rangers versus Phillies would be phenomenal. It would be phenomenal. I agree with you on that one. Swing and a miss. Oh, they say he struck out. Jonah Heim is saying he hit the ground. Jonah Heim is saying it hit the ground. It wasn't a swing foul tip into the glove. 
Let's see this here. Let's see if Heim is correct. Yeah, Jonah Heim is right. He did not strike out. That is not a strikeout. So that's a that's a big assist right there from the umps to the Astros. As there's a call strike to Nate Lowe. But that was definitely not a strikeout. That was a bullshit call. Bad call there by the home plate ump. And I guess that's not reviewable because it happens to be with balls and strikes. As the 0-1 incoming to low pitch. Fouled away. Count as quickly 0-2. First and second, one away, 3-0 Rangers. One out. Yeah, when you start talking about the umps this early, Jeff, it makes you wonder about who these guys are. You know, how 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 bad umpiring has been this year. There's a base at the left field. Garcia's coming around. Throw home will not be in time. It is four to nothing, Texas. Wow. Texas is not taking their foot off the pedal. Holy shit, 4 nothing out the gate, five hits, only one away. Great piece of hitting by Nate Lowe going to left field. Excellent piece of hitting. Wow, 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 wow. And here's Josh Young. Pitch from, Val- from Valdez. Low 1 0. 1 0 on Framber Valdez to Josh Young. 391 this postseason. He's been phenomenal. 1100 OPS. The 1 0 is fouled away. Count is now 1 1. Corey, I appreciate you, my guy. Thank you for stopping by, brother. Rangers had a big coaching turnaround from last year. That is correct. And Phil Matan is warming up already for the Astros. As the 1-1 is fouled away, count is now 1-2. and two. Four to nothing, Rangers. You could not ask for a better start than what the Texas Rangers are doing right now as they are trying to put all the pressure on the Astros, as they're about to go home for three games after this. In the dirt, he does not go. Count as two and two. Twiggy says, open the roof. Hit the like button, everybody. Do me that favor, please. Let's get those likes up. Get more and more people in here. The more likes you get, the more people will join. As it gets recommended to more people, helps the channel grow. 2-2. Hey, struck him out. Nice pitch right there by Framber Valdez. Maybe the best pitch of the day so far for him. That'll bring up the number nine hitter, Leody Tavares, who had a big home run off Justin Verlander yesterday. First and second still, two away, 4 nothing Texas. Leody is not a sure out. I'll tell you that much. Hitting ninth for this club. They got a they got a one through nine that is very good. Very, very good lineup. 333 so far in the postseason for Leody. A homer, three ribbies. Grace. How you doing, Grace? Pitch. Low. 2 0. Oh. Rangers came out extremely hot. And, hey, I'm happy to say that uh, my prediction about this game has taken the, the right way so far. As I just had a feeling that Valdez would not do too well against this lineup as the 2-0 is outside 3-0. The Rangers will bat around here in the first inning as on deck is Marcus Simeon. Count is 3-0 on Tavares. And if I'm Tavares, I am taking two pitches here. Let Simeon get up with a bases juice potentially. There's a call strike, three and one. AC Dusty Baker not liking to start his team is getting off of the pitch. 
Hit in the air to right field foul. The count is now three and two. Three and two. Grace, how you doing? I'm doing good. How you doing? Why you doing? How you doing? Why you doing? Three, two, incoming, steps off. So that's a timeout call by Leoti Tavares. And the count is full, three, two. Dusty should retire? Why? What did he do wrong? <laughs> why? why should Dusty retire for it? A three, two, hit in the air to center field. Ranging back to the deepest part of the park, the catch will be made, and that will end the inning. We will go to the bottom of the first. It is indeed four to nothing. Texas Rangers, folks. Tell you what, man. They should go out there and get a uh, and get a uh, Chuck Norris to to do a little shout out for them. Walker. Texas Rangers, okay? Kerm, what's going on, my guy? How you doing? How you doing, everybody? Chris, first, last. What's up, what's up, what's up? How you guys doing? Anthony the Goat Medina. What's going on, my guy? What is going on, my friggin' guy? Again, thank you, everybody, for joining me today as it is almost 5 o'clock here on the East Coast. Like I said, game one of the NLCS is coming up at 8 o'clock. This game might still be going. If it is, we'll just carry over into it as it ends. We'll switch on over to game one of the NLCS. Hopefully, this game ends before that. I guess if Nate Evaldi continues to dominate the way he's been, it might be a quicker game. Mr. Summer, what's going on, Mr. Summer? How you doing? How you doing? How you doing? How you doing? Steph Curry, Mick Flurry. What's going on, my guy? Rick Diaz. What's up, brother? Chris Tiger Harris. Tiger. 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 Francis Lee, hide your grandmothers in the chat. If you got some grandmothers in the chat, do a little hiding. Josh. Pedraza, what's going on, my brother? How you doing? How you doing? How are you doing? I forgot that commercials are about 15 minutes during the postseason. Alex says, go Strohs. Yeah, I think, Alex, I'll be honest with you, man. I think your Astros need to find a way to take this game today because... uh. Not saying anything wrong about them, but I think they got to figure out a way to get this W. You're about to go to Arlington for three games. I'm not saying that, you know, they can't win on the road. I believe they were a very good road team. But I don't think you want to have to do that. You know what I mean? I don't think you want to do that. I don't think you want to do that. <clears throat> Where is my pop-up screen here? Take that off. All right, here we go, folks. Trolls will pull out of this mess. Uh, Jack, we will see, my friend. We will see. We will see. The Rangers under Bochi have been very good. First pitch is high. It's going to be interesting. Let's see how Evaldi looks here in the first inning. Because if you're a Rangers fan here, you want to see a quick, you want to see a donut. Put a donut on the board here in the first half that your team scored you four. 1-0 is lined to left field. That's a foul ball. And the count is now 1-1. One and one. <clears throat> one thing about this Astros team, folks, they are not concerned about being down. They have been here seven years in a row in the, ALC, in the ALCS. They're not too concerned about the situation here. That one just misses. And the count is 2-1. Two and one on Altuve. Two one from Evaldi. Pitch. Fouled away. Two and two. 
Carlos, I agree with you. I'm not saying that, that even if it goes 2-0, I'm not saying that Houston couldn't come back. I think they still could. But you don't want to have to do that. You know what I mean? You don't want to have to do that. 2-2. Two -two. Fouled away again. Good at bat to start the game by Jose Altuve. As Nate is about to throw pitch number six to him in this A-B. Evaldi's been a very, very good big game pitcher. As the 2-2 pitch. Way outside, 3-2. and two. Three and two on Jose Altuve. Three two pitch. Hit in the air to right field. Not deep. As Garcia makes the catch. One away. Big out right there for Nate. Get that first batter out of the way. Settle back down. Go after Bregman. Go right after Bregman. Ex-Yankees are pitching very, very good. The Yankees had both of these guys, man. They decided not to give Nate Evaldi a contract. The Tampa Bay Rays gave him a two-year deal after his surgery. And he came back and performed well for them. Pitch to Bregman is hit on the ground to third. Young there. Fires over. Got him. Two away. Quick out right there. That's a big one for Nate. It's a big out right there for Nate on the first pitch. I had to bring up Kyle Tucker. When it's, a, when it's the battle of the division. At this point right now, it does not matter who got the wild card and who won the division because guess what? If Texas wins this game, they won the American League. Who gives a poot? That one is outside. Count as one and know. Who gives a poot? At that, at that, the end of the day, who would care? I don't think, uh, I don't think they would care much at all. They just want to win their game, and that is it. As the 1-0 is in there for a call strike. Beautiful cut fastball by Nate. A paint job. Little Bobby Ross, as I call it. Anytime you make a mistake before you get upset with it, look at it. Gotta look at it, damn it. Gotta look at it. 1-1 one, one pitch is lined right to first base, and that will end the inning. That is exactly, that is exactly... What Nate Avaldi needed after his team put up four, put up a quick zero. And just like that, we go to the top of the second inning for nothing Texas. How the Angels with Otani and Trout didn't make the playoffs. They don't really have anybody else around them. And I mean, that's just, that was a, you know, at the end of the day, you know, people say, we say it as Yankee fans, right? How do you got to win? You got to win with Cole and Judge. And I understand that. I get it. You do. You got one of the best hitters in baseball and one of the best pitchers in baseball. Yeah, you, you want to win. But it's a process. It's a process about, um, it, it, it's a process about, building a team around these guys and it's not easy oh we got some chicken tendies in the chat there we go what those damn chicken tendies in the chat let's go baby let's go let's go baseball is not basketball exactly philo it is not as easy to accomplish it's not as easy to accomplish something like that it takes a little bit of time and it takes smarts it takes brains behind it to put together a solid mix, especially of youth and veteran. And that is something that you, New York Yankees just have not done. It's that simple. It's that simple. Whether we look at specific moves or not, fact of the matter is they haven't done it. They haven't done it. And that is it. That is it. Continue to hit that like button for me, folks. We only got 62 likes right now. By the way, if you are on mobile, you got to X off the live chat, and then you'll see the thumbs up. 
give it a little clicky and click right back in on the uh, live chat. Bring it right back up for you. Top of the second coming on up, it'll be Simeon, Seeger, and Grossman. Top of the order again for the Rangers. Those guys are two for three today. Twiggy says it's about dinner time. I had I had delicious food today, man. Oh man. I cooked it. I cooked up some steak, uh, steak bits today, little chops. Oh, delicious. Gave it some chops myself before I cooked it. Phenomenal. Phenomenal, folks. Phenomenal. Okay. All righty then, but here we go. Framber Valdez. Does he have a better inning? Pitch the Simeon. Line is a base hit the left field and get this guy hot. Forget about it. If you get Marcus Simeon hot right now, forget about it. Lead off single for Simeon. He's two for two today. That'll bring up Corey Seager. Devin Cerna, what's going on, brother? What's going on, my guy? Smacky the likey. Hitty the subby. The 1 0 pitch. Ooh, nice pitch. The hit takes it high for a call strike, and the count is 1 and 1. You know, Bochi's, Bo, look, Bochi, guys, again, I don't think I need to keep explaining this. It, this is something that I think a lot of the, a lot of baseball fans, for whatever reason, that's a call strike count as one and two. And I think maybe the younger generation doesn't understand as much. And that is just my assumption of this. Accountability means something when you step in that room and you command respect and command that every single day your team look to win play very very hard every day in and day out two and two you get better results it's just that simple you just get better results i you know how many people when i talk about boone tell me all the time oh the manager doesn't matter the manager doesn't matter yes it does folks yes it does a lot of you work in a regular job. I did for 15 years as the 2-2 is inside 3-2. and two. And let me tell you something. When you have a good manager above you that is pushing you to be better, teaching you how to do things, believing in you, you perform a lot better. You want to perform better. That's all there is to it. Fouled away, count remains 3-2. and two. It's the same thing as everyday life, folks. You need a good manager. No problem, Anthony. See you soon, my friend. Count remains full three and two. Simeon takes his lead. And Simeon does not take off as Seeger swings and misses. And there's one away. Nice pitch right there from Valdez. Definitely would have been ball four. Gene, I appreciate that. Thank you so much. Pickoff attempt at first back at Simeon. Thank you, Gene. The, the subs really help, guys. We are working hard to get to 20,000. We're not far away. Obviously, and we'll have you guys covered all the way until the World Series is over. Hit on the ground. That could be two. They'll get one. That's all they will get. So Grossman will get no throw at first base. So a fielder's choice, two away. I had to bring up Adolis Garcia with two outs, runner on first base. Oh, that was delicious. Nice cup of tea, folks. Every now and then you need it. Got a long night tonight. Valdez steps off. And Garcia stays in the box. He doesn't get out. He said, I'm feeling it right now, baby. I'm feeling it. 
Ooh, good pitch to hit. Fouls it away. And the count is 0-1 on Adolis. Robert, how you doing, my guy? Acevedo, what's up, brother? Andrew, what's up, my guy? Bad management leads the poor decisions on the field as well. That is correct. The 0-1. Hi, 101. It's all connected, guys. And, and a lot of people go, ah, Pete, you're being an ass. No, I'm, I'm calling what I see, man. I've said it many times. If Aaron Boone decided to really manage, and it's going to be hard now to hold guys accountable because you haven't done it all this time. So when you hear this talk about get tougher, I'm like, uh, is that going to work? Is that really going to work? 1-1 one, one is a swing and a miss. Chase is a pitch in the dirt, and the count is 1-2 and two on Garcia. Hit that like button, folks. Hit that like button. Let's go, baby. We're only at 71 likes. We got 175 in here right now. Telling you guys, if you really want to help the channel, hitting the like button is one of the best things you can do. One and two on Garcia, who's going to take a timeout. Framber Valdez will step off the mound. Carlos, you and me both, my friend. You and me both. One, two is in the dirt. Good eye. Two and two. <laughs> Framber Valdez is now at 40 pitches with two outs here in a second. So if you, uh, you know, want to start looking ahead, he may not be long for this game unless he really settles down and has a couple of quick innings. 2-2 two, two to Garcia. Pitch. Inside almost hits him, and he does a cartwheel. As I think it did hit his foot. And it does hit Adolis, so he will go to first base. He does a cartwheel. It hits his foot, and he just does, goes ahead and does a cartwheel. That's it. That's the way to do it in the playoffs. Forget walking to first base. Do a cartwheel over there. <laughs> Why the hell not? Right on top of the foot. You don't want to get hit there. I'll tell you that much. So first and second now, and the batter is Garver. Garver could go ahead and just put people, he could put people away here. That one is, ooh, gets the call. I thought that was a little low. I thought that was a little bit low right there. He gives them the call on that one. AC Boach looking on his ball club. They get bad here for Garver to 1 Hit on the ground. Foul count is quickly 0-2. Valdez has him where he wants him. MLB bloopers editors just grabbed that bit. Yeah, the little cartwheel there. I'm telling you, good way to get out of it. Good way to get away from that pitch right there. Take a hit on the, you know, hit on your foot. Test it out by doing a cartwheel at the first base. And Valdez steps off. First and second, two outs. They get bad in this game for both clubs. The 0-2 to Garver. Pitch. Swing and a miss. Easy. Good morning, good afternoon, buenos noche. And that will end the inning. We will go to the bottom of the second. Astros coming on up. Pete, would you give Max more than three innings during his comeback? I'd play it by inning, depending on how he looks. If he has a long first inning, you know, you you obviously think about it right there. Give him that inning. Let me tell you guys this. I say this. I said this yesterday with Mario and Kev also. It's the postseason, man. You, you really got to try to let your starters lead the way. And I think when it gets to this point... You got to just play it by ear. You know what I mean? You got to play it by what you see. And it depends on how he looks How he looks in game three. You know, if he comes out there as a quick inning, gets into a little trouble maybe in the third, you kind of let him work his way out of it. You're going to need him. You're going to potentially need him. So you got to let these guys go every now and then. Got to let these guys go.
What city has the strongest baseball culture in the U.S.? Just curious. That's a great one. I mean, I'm going to be biased and say New York. I think Yankee fans are amazing. I think Yankee fans are amazing. Whether you, uh, we're also, Yankee fans are also a rare breed because you got the ones that are jumping off the edge, you know, jumping off the ledge very early. <laughs> and, and you got ones that, you know, will ride, uh, ride their team out until death. Uh, but, uh, the Yankees definitely have a crazy culture, especially the fan base wise. I don't know if there's anybody, anybody like us when it comes to our team. But again, home home team bias on my side, no doubt about it. Home team bias. Rod Thompson. Thank you for being a friend. <laughs> Must be nice to have a former World Series manager managing your team. Yeah, it, it would it is nice. It, it gotta be nice. Uh you know. And the Yankees, there's even people coming out saying that they, Boone has not caught on as quick as they'd hoped. So now they might need a more experienced bench coach to help him along. Guys, it's been five years. Like, what are we... Maybe he's not fit for the role. You ever thought about that? You ever thought that maybe he's not fit for the role? Is that possible? That's what I think. I think Boone's not fit for a role, but who the hell am I? Bottom of the second coming up, it'll be Jordan Alvarez leading off against Nate Evaldi. First pitch is a ball, 1-0. 1-0 and coming from Nate Evaldi. Fouled away, 1-1, 92 upstairs. And that's what I like about Nate. When you watch Nate pitch, right, he'll sit there and go, I'll throw you a 92, 93, 91. And then when I got to buckle down whenever I need to, I'll throw that pitch up there at 97, 98 with ease. I love how he's become a pitcher. Nice pitch right there, laid off, and the count is 2-1. and one. The 2-1 pitch. Hit in the air to right field. Forget about it. It is a 4-1 to game. You do not try to do that against Jordan Alvarez. And just like that, it is a 4-1 to ball game. As Alvarez forget it off the bat, you knew that ball was gone by a mile. Solo home runs are not going to defeat you, though. And that's what you got to keep Alvarez to. You're not always going to keep him in the park. We know that. But if you're going to give him up to him, do it with men not on base. Do it with men not on base. I had to bring up Jose Abreu. It is imperative that Avaldi just get right back on track right now. There's a call strike. Drops a curveball right over. And the count is 0-1. Houston has the experience. They're not panicking. Trust me. One thing I could tell you about the Astros is they are not panicking. Hit on the ground to third. Young feels. Fires. Got him. One away. Big out. Big out. That is a big out right there. That is a big out. <clears throat> Pitch is on the corner and the count is 0 and 1. <clears throat> uh Aaron Rodgers, no, I did not see it. I it's hard. I, I usually don't look at the chat. I kind of peek over every now and then, but my focus is elsewhere. As this one is a swing and a miss, 0 and 2. Brother, if you put it in there again, I'll try to read it for you. Not a problem. Hey, 
struck him out. Beautiful pitch to Brantley. And there's two away. Beautiful pitch to Brantley. Beautiful pitch to Brantley. I mean, that ball was absolutely creamed. Hit on the ground, foul by Maldonado. Oh, no, that's not Maldonado. That's McCormick. My bad. I was going all the way to the bottom of the order. As Brantley just struck out, here's McCormick. And I'm sorry. I'm taking Houston's lineup over. I'm taking, I'm, excuse me, I'm taking uh, the Rangers lineup over Houston's any day of the week. Any day of the week. I said that after last night, Monty needs to be signed with Yamamoto and put King and Schmidt in the deal for Soto. Great play by Young. Got him. What a play by the rookie Josh Young to rob a double from McCormick. Let's see this one again all the way down the line on the backhand. Fires it over and gets him. Great play by Josh Young to end the inning. Wow, 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 wow. What a play. But um, speaking of what you said, Aaron, um... You know, I, I, you know, he, here's the way I see it. Here's the way I see it. If I'm Jordan Montgomery, why do I want to go back to the Yankees? And I get it. I understand money's involved. I get that. I understand guys, you know, you give him a bigger contract, whatever it is, you come back. I completely understand. It wouldn't be the first time the Yankees let a guy go and it came back. I get all that. I understand it. But if you are Jordan Montgomery... Why go back to the New York Yankees? Do you think that the Yankees are the only team that will pay them? He's going to get paid. Do you guys, you guys know this already? The Rangers got a lot of money. They're also getting Max Scherzer basically for free. They have a lot of money. Signing Montgomery will not be difficult. On top of that, he also loves Maddox being his pitching coach. He loves Mike Maddox. Loves him. Talked about him yesterday. How important it is to have him. Texas has the money. If you guys remember a few years back, I warned everybody. I said they just got a new stadium and they just signed a gigantic TV deal. They're going to sign everyone. And that's exactly what they've been doing since that happened. And <gasps> they're three wins away from an AL pennant that quick. They put the right manager with a team of youth and stars. And bada bing, bada boom. What do you got? The wheel is not broken, Yankees. Sorry, I know it got to relate back to the Yankees. My bad, everybody. The wheel is not broken, damn it. Stop trying to fix it by being the smartest people in the room and do business how you're supposed to do it. Unbelievable. Unbelievable. Signing Montas to a one-year deal, I think it's possible. I think it's possible the Yankees do that. They try to get something out of their investment of, you know, trading the guys they did. Maybe they get a little something-something back. Who knows? Yamamoto is 1A for me. That is it. Yamamoto, and then you can make trades. Whether that's Soto, other players, you got a lot of options for trades. Pitch to Jonah Heim is fouled away. Count as 0-1. 4-1 ball game. Houston trying to chip their way back in. They didn't trust Monty's fastball, but they do this a lot, Aaron. You know, this is not nothing new for the Yankees. They have done this to a lot of pitchers. As the 0-1 is fouled away, 0-2, and... What you're seeing right now is Fran Valdez kind of getting tunnel vision here and working straight in on these guys. He, he is getting a little dialed in here. As the 0-2 is in the dirt and the count is 1-2, and two, stuff looks a lot sharper over the last two innings. Good thing for Texas to get to him early.
Hit in the air to left field. And once I said that, who gives a poot? Jonah Heim with a jack job to left. It is five to one Rangers. Oh, there I go about tunnel vision. I should have I should have stuck to my original prediction. Like I said, he's gonna get destroyed today. And there you have it. Bada bing, bada boom, five to one. Rangers get that run right back immediately. This team is playing on an all-time high, folks. All-time high. Pitch is low, 1-0. Smacky that likey, hitty the subby, folks. As Jonah Heim goes out to left field, and they get that run back immediately. 5-1, no outs here in the top of the third. Pitch to low. Inside, gets away, 2-0. And Framber Valdez, man. Telling you, if you're Dusty Baker, you got to... You got to get close to making a decision here shortly. You don't want to get too far away from this team. Texas could hit. Got a hell of a lineup. 2-0. Right down to Johnson. 2-1. Rangers believe they were the best team in the West no matter what. And they're, they are playing right now with an extreme level of confidence. That one is fouled away, count as two and two. And good for them, they should be. But, again, I will repeat. <laughs> Never count out a team that has been there and done that. They're not going to feel pressure like other teams. 2-2. Two, two. Fouled away, hung one right there. Lucky he got away with that one. And the count remains two and two. Yeah, the, the Astros did. And look, they've had... In, and that's why, as a Yankee fan, I was telling people, I don't want to hear bullshit about injuries. So Houston had injuries. And they still got here somehow. They still managed. And they weren't in an easy division. Seattle came on very strong. Texas was there all season. I'm not one of those Yankee fans that just want to beat up on Houston. They're doing certain things right. And they got back here again. So again, all the credit to them. It is what it is. It is what it is, but they had injuries also in a lot of them. 2-2 two, two incoming. Hey, struck him out. Beautiful curveball. One away. Houston had a shit ton of injuries. So, I mean, you, you can't sit there and make injuries always your excuse. It doesn't work that way. Tell you what, it's got to be a nice ballpark to play in 80, 81 games a year. You're a right-handed hitter, man. You could take that ball to those Crawford boxes pretty easy. Swing and a miss, 0-1. It should be mandatory that the Yankees front office, including their, their coaching staff, be watching these games in the same room and taking notes and then reviewing afterwards. I'm dead serious, too. I'm not joking when I say that. As the count is one and one, I would tell them that's a part of your job. We're going to watch these games together, then we're going to talk about it right afterwards. No, Globe Life will be on game three. They're in Minute Maid right now. Yowie wowie. What's up? Hit on the ground foul, one and two on Josh Young, who made an amazing play to end the bottom of the second. Now you see Jonah Heim, one guy that me and L.I. Yankee King agreed on. Both uh, tried to push the Yankees to trade for Jonah Heim, who's become one of the better catchers in the American League. One, two, hey, struck him out. Big curveball, two away. <laughs> yeah, Acevedo, that's right. And look at the guys they had, man. I mean, Jacob DeGrom, I mean... He didn't, he didn't cost pennies. And what do they say? We'll add more. Keep adding. Come on. I'm telling you, if you're Jordan Montgomery, probably want to stay with Texas. If you're smart, probably want to stay with Texas. Pitch is inside, and the count is 1-0. and I'm sure Monty has a lot of friends in New York, you know, but again, if I'm looking at it baseball perspective, 
I think Texas might be the team if I'm Monty to say, you know what? I'm going to stay with these guys. Low. And the count is 2-0. and Aaron Rodgers with the Super Chat says, just realized that Texas has made a World Series, complete a rebuild, and now on the verge of another World Series before the Yankees can even make one. It's a lot to be upset about as a Yankee fan, no question. As a 2-0 is a swing and a miss. 2-1. and It's a good point. That's a good point, man. But there, there's a lot of things to be upset about if you're a Yankee fan. No doubt about that. No doubt about that. And we are 17 subscribers away from today's goal of 19,650. As everybody's aware, I will also be calling NLCS game one right after this game is over. 2-1, low, out of the zone, and the count is 3-1. and one. So if you guys want to help the channel today and help us grow, please do me a favor, hit that like button, as that'll be a walk to Leody Tavares. Oh, baby, oh, Mike Maddox is a pitching whisperer, super freaking sharp. Yes, he is, Jeff, no doubt about it. And look, he's a mechanic. You know, when I talk to a lot of um, advanced scouts and, and people involved with baseball, they like to say he's a mechanic when they talk about certain pitching coaches, and that will do it for Framber Valdez. He is out of the game. Dusty Baker makes the move. And my prediction last night was that Valdez was going to get destroyed, and I guess I was right on that one. But when you talk to advanced scouts, you hear that a lot. He's a mechanic. And what do they mean by he's a mechanic? They simply mean that he can make adjustments on the fly to pitchers. He has an eye for it. He picks up on it quickly. He doesn't sit there and go, hey, your spin rate is this and that and this and uh, mix up this sequence a bit. He's a mechanic, man. He can read guys very well. And he can make those adjustments on the fly to help a, to help a pitcher out. And he's also you know, been around his game for a very, very long time. But I will say, that's not a knock on Matt Blake. I think Matt Blake has done a pretty good job with the Yankees. Is there faults? Yes. Should he have a guy like a David Cohn or an Andy Pettit with him? Yes. Yes, 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 because experience means something. Being there means something. It's a reason why when you apply for a job, folks, they ask you for a resume to see if you have experience. Everything is common sense in life, folks. You just got to use common sense, and you could typically you could typically find an answer for it. I don't go become a doctor. And they go, where do you went to school? I did it. I want to be a doctor. They're going to say, well, sorry. Got to go to school for that one, buddy. Really? There's no, like, startup doctor jobs? Oh, okay. <clears throat> Top of the third inning still. It's going to be a runner on first base, two outs, as Montero is going to be the pitcher coming in. Uh, Alexander Gordon, let me tell you something right now. Are you telling me that experience matters? I think so. I, I think so. I think it matters a little bit. Um... But uh, Alexander Gordon, I think, I mean, if you, if you see some of the questions he actually asked, they add, the Yankees ask for the analytic team. And if you hear the story about how Mike Fishman got his job, it's, it's kind of scary. It is kind of scary. It is definitely kind of scary. Chad versus, says Mariners versus Yankees, ALCS next year. Interesting. I'll take it. I'm a Yankee fan. I'm all for it. I am all for it. Joey, yes, I will be doing a game. The game starts at 8 o'clock. I'll be calling that game. And I believe uh, NL, NLCS game two is the only game on tomorrow. I'll be calling that one also. But I think I'll be calling just about every game of both series, depending on how long it goes. And, of course, every game of the World Series. So here's Rafael Montero. Pitch the Simeon is outside. Simeon two for two today. Let me tell you something. If you're a Rangers fan right now, you're very excited to see Marcus Simeon having a good game. 
because his bat has not been hot this postseason. Not at all. The 1-0 incoming. Runner goes. The throw beats it. So a stolen base. Meep, meep. Man, we're going to see if Dusty Baker wants to review this one, but that is Leody Tavares with the stolen bag right there. Didn't get a great jump. Beautiful throw, by the way, but never tagged him. Did it, wasn't able to tag his arm. He slid away from the bag. Good job. Good slide in there by Leody Tavares, and it'll be a runner on second base, two outs. Pitch is low, two and one. So Marcus Simeon's a base hit away from making it a 6-1 to one Texas lead because you know Tavares is going to score in a single. The 2-1. There's a call strike. Nice change up by Montero. And the count is 2-2. Two and two. <clears throat> Two and two count on Simeon. Five to one Texas lead, but they're threatening again here in the top of the third. Pitch. Hey, struck him out. And that will end the inning. High heat from Montero gets him. And we will go to the bottom of the third. Rangers up five to one over Houston. Smacky that likey, hitty that subby, folks. Brad 2023 says Houston cheaters. <clears throat> A much, much, much different club, though, than 2017, I gotta say. Not saying what they did was right. Not at all. Not at all. Nobody, nobody wants to win anything and, you know, get caught cheating doing it. You don't want to do that. You definitely don't want to do that. But this team has gone to the post to the ALCS seven years in a row. That is an accomplishment. And I tell you this, if they won the World Series this year, they're a dynasty. So all you can say, if they win the World Series this year, they are indeed a dynasty. But right now, they're having a handful with the Texas Rangers. They are having a handful with the Rangers right now who are not letting up. Put it that way. They are not letting up. Acevedo, that's exactly what I mean. They kept winning after that. So, you know, whatever anybody wants to say, I get it. I get the frustration. But one, it's a much different team, and they've continued to win. So, there's not much you can say about that. It's just the truth. It is just the truth. Texas is still undefeated. That's right. They've done a great job. Scary. Imagine they had DeGrom. Imagine. Imagine if DeGrom was healthy, you know, <sighs> fully healthy, ready to go. But then again, with DeGrom, who knows if he'll ever be fully healthy? Who knows if he'll ever see that? And of course, now that Framber Valdez is out of the game, Evan Carter takes over in left field already, so... I love it by, by, by Bruce Bochy, man. Why wait? Why wait? Make the change right now. Do not wait. Bring in your guy. I love that by, by Bruce Bochy right there. Immediately going back to Evan Carter to play left field. He's had a great game yesterday. He's had a great postseason. Terry, what's up, my guy? How you doing, Terry? How you doing, my friend? Arizona's going to roll through Philly and meet Texas. 9-0 and team versus 9-0 and team. Wouldn't that be interesting? Pitch is a swing and a miss. They say he went 0-1 on Jeremy Pena. Now does nasty Nate Avaldi keep it going? We'll see. We will see. Pitch outside and the count is 1-1. One 
Jack says D-backs won't get past Phillies. We're going to find out. We're going to find out very soon. As the 1-1, one, one, low. And the count is 2-1. and one. As a Cowboys fan, I want Philly. Hey, look, everybody's after Philly in, uh, in football, right? I'm a 49ers fan, and I still want to break Moody's foot. <sighs> Disgraceful. 2-1 is lined to right field. Foul ball. 2-2. Two and two. Maple Beam says, I want Arizona to win the World Series, but I'm a Toronto fan. Hey, look, man, I'll tell you, if I had a pick, i like to see Texas. i like to see, look, I hate saying it, anybody but Philly. I mean, excuse me, anybody but Houston. I, I Look, I tip my cap to the Astros. I called the World Series last year for the Astros as a Yankee fan. I did not enjoy it. I don't want to do it again. I got to be real with you. I don't want to do it again. Oh, he doesn't get the call. That's a strike, ump. Wow. Holy shit. That was a perfect pitch by Ivaldi. Does not get the call. There should be one out. Wow. 3-2. Hit in the air to right field. Right there is Garcia. Good. One away because that was a strike. I mean, that was right there, man. One away. It's pretty interesting. Nolan Ryan and Ada Valdi went to the same exact high school, Alvin High School in Texas. They see uh, Nolan Ryan, one of the all-time greats. One away, nobody on. Here is the pitch in there for a call strike to Maldonado. 95 down to Johnson. M Mac, what's going on, brother? Arizona going into the Philly buzzsaw tonight. Let's go, baby. Pitch is outside, and the count is one and one. One and one on Maldonado. Nate Evaldi looking to continue his dominance in the postseason. He's giving up a home run to Alvarez today, but who the hell doesn't? Swing and a miss. And the count is one and two. Texas D-backs would be wild. I think it's, uh, if I had to predict right now, I say Texas and Philly. I think it's going to be the Rangers and Philly. Uh, my original prediction was the Orioles Braves. Look at me. Both of them are out. So I'm revamping Rangers. Phillies is my pick. Hey, struck him out. Two away. And no trash cans to help them this time. Hey, man, look. Like I said before, everybody's going to root on the good teams to lose. If they're there every year, you become a target. I remember as I grew up in the Yankee dynasty. Hit on the ground. Seeger there. Fires. Got him. Another strong inning for Nate Aldi. We go to the top of the fourth. Rangers coming on up. I remember I grew up in the dynasty, folks. I remember everybody wanted the Yankees to lose. Everybody wanted the Yankees to lose. It didn't matter if they were not a fan. Who cared? Yankees were either loved or hated. Jack says Astros will take the lead in the seventh. We'll see. We will see. Brad, what's going on, my friend? Uh, Alexander Gordon, you know, man. Come on. Yan the Yankees were, it doesn't matter. Look, when we were beating up the Braves and the Braves never could actually win and the Yankees always did. Come on, man. They hate, everybody hated the Yankees. Yankees getting in, it's like again, again. Come on, man. 0-1, 0-1, even though you had the, you know, you had the trade center. 
9-11 happened, and the Yankees were America's team at that time. They put, you know, New York on their back. They, 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 some of the most amazing baseball games you will ever watch was the 2001 World Series. And the sad thing is, folks, I have never gone back and watched those. To this day, I've never gone back and watched them. But some of the greatest baseball you'll see, 03, I remember, the love affair with the Yankees was over. They went back to the World Series again, and everybody wanted the Marlins to win, and they did. The Marlins came out and won. So, you know, it is what it is. The hate was so strong to this day, people still try to disparage Jeter's greatness by overhyping his defense. Yes, 100% Alexander Gordon, no doubt about it. Smoltz hates the Yankees because look at the Hall of Famers that they had on those teams. They never won. They won in 95. That was a friggin' uh that was a friggin' uh the strike years when they won. But of course he hates the Yankees, man. The 90s, the 90s Braves teams were fantastic. They had a bunch of Hall of Famers on them. And the Yankees were the team of the decade. Started late. Started late, you know. 96, 98, 99, 2000. They go to the World Series in 01, World Series in 03, win the World Series in 09. You know, but what are you going to do? Yeah, Smoltz can't stand the Yankees. You can hear it in his voice. You can hear it in his voice all the time. It'll be the top of the fourth. It'll be Seager, Evan Carter, and Garcia coming up against Montero. First pitch is outside, 1-0. The 1-0 incoming pitch. Line to center field. Caught. Excellent play in center by McCormick, making the diving catch. And there's one away. Takes a hit away from Seager. That'll bring up Evan Carter, who has been phenomenal for the Rangers. He has been absolutely phenomenal. Fritz, yep. Yep. It's unbelievable, isn't it? Isn't it unbelievable? M Max says, I'll be watching from my living room tonight, but I'll be at the bank tomorrow. As the 1 0 to Carter is a swing and a miss, 1 and 1. One and one on Evan Carter, hitting 389 so far in this postseason, the 1 1. Outside does not get the call. Two and one. Zach Gallen versus Zach Wheeler. What a matchup. You don't get a better matchup than that, folks. Hit in the air to left field, not deep. Coming over to make the catch. And there's two away. Michael Brantley puts him away. <clears throat> A good old Zach versus Zach matchup. Why not? Good old Zach versus Zach. Pitch is fouled away. And the count is 0-1 on Garcia. A lot of Rangers fans in attendance. <clears throat> Excuse me. This one popped up a mile high, and that's going to reach the seats. Count as 0-2. Foxy, what's going on, my guy? How you doing? How you doing? Smacky that likey, hitty the subby, folks. Hit the like and smash that subscribe button. We appreciate you. O2 incoming to Garcia pitch. High. One and two.
The Zack attack tonight. One, two is hey, struck him out. Adel in the inning. We will go to the bottom of the fourth. Houston coming on up. I'll be honest tonight um, with Gallon and Wheeler. I would like to see. I would like to see a low scoring game. I want to see a great pitcher's duel. I know that's not the most exciting thing in the world, but how is Zach Gallon going to perform in that ballpark? Is he going to handle his emotions well? Biggest game of Zach Gallon's young career. He's finally been healthy the last two years, and he's been phenomenal. How is he going to put it together in what is the biggest game of his career? It's going to be interesting. It's going to be very interesting to see. It is going to be very interesting to see how he handles it. If anybody needs to go make a cup of tea or something, go ahead and do it. As you know, these uh, commercial breaks are about 12 minutes long. You got all day. Pitch duels are nail biters, but I tell you what, they're very, very fun to call, and it makes it very interesting because when a, team's, when a team finally threatens, you're at the edge of your seat. So it's very fun, in my opinion, to call pitcher duels. Yeah, I was uh, I was about to say, and Mac, I agree with what you said. It, it's very different when it's a red October. When it's red October time in Philly, I don't care how many times you visited in the regular season. It's it's a different animal. To the point that some guys can't even hear Pitchcom. I mean, that has been a concern for some clubs that they can't even hear Pitchcom. So Philly, one thing about that Philly stadium, man, they take full advantage um, over, you know, trying, trying to impact the ball game. Nestor Cortez for in a deal for Marte. I'd be interested in that deal. I talk about it. Could tell Marte can never stay healthy typically, but hell of a ball player. He's a hell of a player. He's on the field a lot, though. Not always completely out. Pitch from Ivaldi is in there for a call strike to Alex Bregman. Three, four, and five. Two, three, and four, excuse me, coming up for the Astros. The old one incoming from Ivaldi. Here's the good old ump cam. Call strike. 0-2. The 0-2 incoming to Bregman. Nate Avaldi has been looking good again inside. In the dirt, 1-2. and two. Biffer, what's going on, my guy? How you doing, brother? How you doing, my friend? How you doing? How you doing? How you doing? How you doing? The 1-2 incoming to Bregman. The pitch. Fouled away. And the count remains one and two. One and two on Bregman. Pitch number 38 coming up from Avaldi. Hit in the end of left field. Is that a fair ball? Into the Crawford boxes. And it's a 5-2. to two. Rangers lead as Bregman hits it out to left field. Just stayed fair right into the Crawford boxes. Three-run Rangers lead. <laughs> the 
It looked like he went with a changeup on that pitch. It actually was a splitter. Too much of the plate. Good piece of hitting by Bregman. And he just keeps that ball fair. It actually hit off the off the foul pole. It didn't even go into the boxes right off the foul pole. This one popped up. That's a big out. And there's one away. So after giving up the home run, look, Kurt Schilling has said it best. Solo homers typically are not going to beat you. Solo homers typically are not going to defeat you. Here's a call strike to Jordan Alvarez, count as 0 1. As the 0 1 is inside, 1 and 1. So Houston trying their best to chip their way back into this game. Only the bottom of the fourth inning. We've got a lot of baseball to go. The 1-1 one, one in the dirt. 2-1-1. One, one. we got a lot of baseball to go, folks. A lot of baseball to go. <clears throat> two one is fouled away. Two and two on Alvarez. Rangers up by three. And last time they gave a run up, they got it right back the next inning. We'll see if they can do that again. But right now, Nate Avaldi, who's about to throw pitch number 44, needs to get out of this inning. Two two. Hey, struck him out, frozen with a curveball. Beautiful pitch. Beautiful pitch by Nate. Two away. <clears throat> beautiful pitch. That's a beautiful curveball right on the corner. Nice pitch. Here comes Jose Abreu, pitch from Mavaldi. On the corner, does not get the call a bit off the plate, 1-0. Oh. The 1-0 oh incoming. Outside, 2-0. Oh. Two cutters on the corner, misses. 2-0 oh on Jose Abreu. Abreu's had a very, very good postseason. Turned it on in August, I believe, a little more. He had a tough, he had a tough uh, season with uh, the Astros. Here's a call strike on the curveball. Count is now two and one. A little get me over. A little get me over. Hit the like button and subscribe, folks. We appreciate you guys. Two one. Nice change up. Actually, the split. I keep getting it confused with the split. It has a similar movement. A little low and in. Breaking in to righties a bit, but a good splitter for a call strike. That's where he needs to keep that pitch. Two and two now on Abreu. Two outs, nobody on. One run in for Houston on a homer by Bregman. Two two. Fouled away. Goes 96 upstairs. Doesn't get him. See if he goes back down to the splitter here. Maybe the curveball in the dirt. Altuve trade to Yankees? Yeah, that ain't happening. Jerry, I appreciate that, my friend. Thank you so much. 2-2. Two -two. Hey! Struck him out. Beautiful pitch by Nate. And again, if you're a Rangers fan, solo homers are not gonna kill you it does get the Astros closer but it's not gonna kill you as the game is now five to two the Rangers last time got the run back immediately we'll see if they do it again the other thing for a Rangers fan that you got to be a little happy about you're in to Houston's bullpen but I will say this you better win this game 
if you are the if you are the Rangers, you better win this game today. Do not let Houston come back, take this victory from you, and go to Globe Life for three games with the series being split one one. If you are up five to two here at the top of the fifth, you better get that W. All hands on deck, as they say. I don't give a poot. You're available. I don't give a poot. You are indeed available tonight. That goes for everybody. I'll feel better as Rangers get a few more runs. Obviously, you would want your team to uh, pile up a bit more. Why not? Why not? As we got 220 in here right now, guys, I think, let's see where we are in the likes. Let's see where we are in those likeies, folks. 116, not bad, but we still got over 200 in here. Hit the like button if you have not. Truly helps, by the way, folks. It really does. It really helps. Believe it or not, it really does help. Thank you, guys. <clears throat> All right, let's switch back over to the motherboard. It is going to be Garver, Heim, and Lowe coming up against France. So France will come in the pitch for the Astros. As commercial breaks are about five minutes each. Put your feet up and relax, folks. Yankees love... Pete, who are we rooting for? Uh, in this series, uh, I have to root for the Rangers. I got to root for the Rangers. I, I can't call another Astros World Series. That was tough. That was tough. If I have to, I will. If I have to, I will. But that was tough. That was a hard one. As the pitcher is France... He is now in the game. First pitch is in there for a called strike. J.P. France started first appearance in the postseason. 23 starts, 3.83 ERA, did a solid job. 0-1 is outside, count as 1-1. One and, one. and right now, if you are Dusty Baker, you're hoping you get a couple of innings from France, and he holds the lead where it is. 1-1 one, one to Mitch Garver. Hit in the air, popped up. Who's it going to be? Bregman will make the catch. One away. One away. That'll bring up Jonah Heim, who homered in his last A-B. First homer of this postseason for Heim. Hitting 269 in the postseason. Pitch. Low. 1-0. 601 here in the East Coast. NLCS Game 1 begins in less than two hours. Or about two hours. I think it's at 8.07 start time. My plan is to call that game also, folks. So I have a little double header action for you guys. The 2-0. There's a call strike. Nice change up by France. 2-1. Yama Soto. Yama and Soto. No doubt about it. That would be amazing. That would be huge. 2-1 is fouled away. Count is now 2-2 two and two on Heim. Framber Valdez started the game, got absolutely rocked in the first inning, tried to stick around for a bit, couldn't make it that long. As the Rangers are in the bullpen of Houston, Houston going with J.P. France, a starter now. Fouled away, staying alive is Jonah Heim. 
Thank you, Shane. I appreciate that, my friend. If you're watching, you should be liking. I appreciate that, brother. Thank you. Thank you so much. Pitch. Did he go? No, he did not. Three and two. Full count on Jonah Heim. One out. Nobody on for the Rangers. They are up five to two here at the top of the fifth. As the 3 2 pitch hit in the air to right field. Ranger back, still back. Catch will be made on the track. So Heim gives it a ride, didn't get enough of it. And there's two away. Nate Lowe will be the batter with two outs, nobody on. Pitches in there for a call strike. Count as 0-1-1. Just be Drake. What is going on, my guy? Inside 1-1. One 1-1 and one. One and one on Nate Lowe. Two outs, nobody on for the Rangers. They're up by three here in the top of the fifth. Houston trying to battle back and just chip away. As the 1-1 one, one from JP France is low, 2-1. Does Cashman have the chestnuts to pull this off, Pete? Uh, that's the toughest thing as a Yankee fan, man. Do we believe in Cashman doing the right thing or making the right moves? Um, you know, is Steinbrenner going to put the money up? It's going to be an interesting offseason for the Yankees. Hit in the air to left center field and deep. Ranging back makes the catch short of the wall. And that will end the inning. We will go to the bottom of the fifth. Astros coming on up. And guys, give me a second. I'll be right back with you. Hit that like button and subscribe, folks. I'll be right back. All right, we are back in action. Bottom five coming up is Astros looking to continue to get back in this game, chipping away. Xavier, what's going on, my guy? How you doing? How you doing? <laughs> Cashman's chestnuts roasting on an open fire. My God. My God, let me tell you something about that guy, man. 
I believe time has passed Cashman by, and for some reason the Yankees refuse to make a change. I don't get it. I don't get it. I don't think I ever will. Maybe I never will get it, folks. Maybe I never will. What are you going to do? But I'll go down with the ship. I've said it before. I'll say it again. I'll go down with the ship. It is what it is. It is what it is. Nate Valdi looking around like, what the hell's going on? Can I pitch? I guess um, Pitchcom is not working for him. And they're going to bring him a new Pitchcom. Rizzo got old fast. I just don't know what's up with Rizzo, man. I'm very, very concerned that Rizzo is going to be the first baseman next year. Is he healthy? Who the frig knows what the hell's going on, man? There's a lot of question marks with the Yankees, man. There's so, there's so many question marks out there, man. I don't know. I do not know. A lot of question marks exist. <clears throat> They see Chris Young, the GM, was a good pitcher too. Tall pitcher was Chris Young. Did a good job. Pitch. Inside 1-0. 6-7-8 coming up. Brantley, McCormick, and Pena. As the Astros are to continue to chip away the 1-0. Hit on a ground foul. And the count is 1-1. One and one. Tabor talk, uh, Rizzo's a guy we should be nervous about. I mean, I don't, I don't know what to say about Rizzo. I really don't. <laughs> I don't know what to say about Rizzo, man. One one, swing and a miss, and the count is one and two on Michael Brantley. Postseason career hitting three twelve with. The Astros in 50 games, 11 extra base hits, 1-2. Outside, 2-2. Two and two. Chair side chat with Eric. I appreciate you, man. Thank you so much. I appreciate you. Big time Jerry to Ajita would be out of control with the Yankees next year if they don't make the right moves. Pitch is low. And the count is three and two. Smacky that likey. Hitty that subby, folks. Smacky that likey. Hitty that subby. As the three, two. Hit on the ground foul. The last thing he wants to do right here is walk anybody. Do not walk anybody right here. Last thing Nate wants to do is walk anyone. He's having a solid performance so far. Two solo homers. As the 3-2 pitch. Line base hit the left field. Excellent at bat by Michael Brantley. Just like that, the leadoff runner is on here in the bottom of the fifth for the Astros. Beautiful piece of hitting by Brantley. Stays with the pitch through the zone and just drives it to the left. Why not? Why not? Easier said than done, folks, but that is professional hitting at its best. One and zero on McCormick. Of all these, only about the throw pitch number fifty nine on the day. So it's not like the pitch count is a problem. Houston's having much better at bats. The one zero to McCormick, swing and a miss. Nice split. One and one. Runner on first base, nobody out. Pitch. Line, base it up the middle. And here come the Houston Astros. 
First and second, nobody out. And the batter will be Jeremy Pena. And they're going to have a mound visit here. Here comes Mike Maddox. Nelson, what's going on, brother? What's going on, Nelson? Big moment in this game for both clubs. Texas needs to try to wiggle their way out of this one. And then the Astros have to capitalize. That's all there is to it. Bottom of the fifth inning, only a three-run ball game. That's the way you got to see it right now. That's the way you got to see it. Patty Sinclair, what's going on? So here's the situation, folks. First and second, no body out. And here's Pena, pitch. Outside, 1-0. and oh. Tying run at the plate for Houston. Nobody out. Pena looking for his postseason moment, pitch. Hit on the ground at third. Bobble can't make the play. Josh Young boots it. Bases loaded. Nobody out. Huge mishap by the young third baseman, Josh Young. And that is a big time play in this game. Easily would have had to play at first base. And if you just get one, Second and third, one out, you're happy. You can live with it. Bases juiced, nobody out. Martin Maldonado will be the batter. And it will not be Maldonado. It looks like Diaz will come up to hit. Good call here by Dusty Baker going to the bigger bat. Bullpen getting active for Texas as they are in an absolute jam right now. Houston has been chipping away at the lead with solo homers, but like I said before, those aren't gonna those aren't gonna beat. The Rangers right now. This is what could beat the Rangers. Big hits with the bases loaded. This is where you make or break the win or loss. And let's see what happens. Here's Diaz pitch. Way outside, 1 0, not even close. Not even close. Only 63 pitches for Nate. Andrew Heaney warming up. That could very well be for Tucker and Alvarez, just in case, pitch. Fouled away, count as one and one. One and one on Diaz, and I agree with you, Kerm. This is all on Evaldi. Do your thing. This is all on Nate Evaldi. If, I, if I'm the manager, if I'm Bochi, get these next three guys out. Pitch, in the dirt, two and one. Two and one on Diaz, bases loaded. Diaz is 0 for 7 in the postseason looking for his first big hit. And boy, oh boy, Minute Maid Park would blow up right now if he gets a big hit. Bases loaded, 2-1 pitch from Avaldi. Pitch. Swing and a miss. Two and two. Beautiful pitch on the corner. Happy painting. God bless. I Nate Evaldi and the count is two and two. Evaldi to the set. The two two. Foul the way just stays alive. 96 upstairs fights it off. 
67 pitches for Nate. Not a lot. Not a lot. He's doing his thing. He is doing his thing. But he needs a big out here. Strikeout would be huge. The 2-2. He struck him out. Huge curveball gets Diaz the chase. One away. That's big. Big out from Nate Evaldi. Excellent pitching right there. High with the fastball. Low and away with the curve. And he gets him. But this is when it gets tough. And when the going gets tough, the tough gets going. Evaldi versus Altuve. Pitch. Call. Strike. 0 oh and 1. If Nate gets out of this, man, oh man, do you talk about a momentum factor? Wow. What momentum that would be for the Rangers. The 0 1 incoming to Altuve. Swing and a foul ball, 0-2. Here comes Nate. Here comes Nate. One thing about Evaldi, man, he got tunnel vision. He got ice in his veins. This does not worry him. Bases juice to Altuve. The 0-2. High, 1-2. and two. High. One and two. Astros fans at the edge of their feet. Avaldi to the set. Ah, one, two. Hey! Struck him out. Two away. And it's up to Bregman. What a moment in this game. Can Nate Avaldi bear down and get these guys out? Bases loaded, nobody away, two Ks. And that brings up Bregman, who homered his last at bat. Pitch to Bregman. Inside 1 0. Inside 1 0. The 1 0 to Bregman. Pitch. Hit on the ground to third. Fields. Fires. Got him. What a job by Evaldi. Holy shit. Playoff baseball at its finest. Bases loaded. Nobody out. And the Houston Astros put up a donut. That is about as big of a moment that you will see in this game. Nate Evaldi comes out on top. Top of the sixth. Coming on up. What a job by Evaldi, folks. Holy shit. Now, if you're if you're the Rangers, give him a break, man. Get some uh get some hits on the board, get some runs. Wow, wow, wow. Unbelievable. Unbelievable job by Evaldi. Truly fantastic. Truly fantastic job. What a job, Ivaldi. Ness, what's going on, my guy? How you doing? Guys, we are 16 subscribers away from today's goal of 19,650. That is today's goal. Smacky that likey, hitty the subby. Appreciate you guys. <clears throat> 
One winged angel, what's going on? Nate, big balls of Aldi. I tell you what, he showed something there, all right? He showed something there that was absolutely huge to today's ball game. Give me one second, guys. Let me refresh my MLB TV. I don't know what's going on here. It's giving me a little issue. There we go. We're back. We are back and running. Top of the sixth inning. It'll be 8-9-1. and one. Josh Young takes a call strike. Count as 0-1-1 from France. Hank! What's going on, Hank? How you doing, my friend? Melinda, how you doing, Melinda? 0-1 to Young is outside. Young looking to make up for that error. Thankfully, it didn't cost him anything. Bruce Bochy got these guys playing with an extreme confidence. Let me tell you, man. He got them playing with an extreme confidence right now. Hit on the ground, foul. Count is now 1-2 and two on Josh Young here in the top of the sixth. The one two incoming from France. Pitch. Hit in the air to center field. Coming on. The catch will be made. One away. Valdi looks fantastic. Everything is good, Hank. Everything is good. Just enjoying watching Nate Valdi pitch. As he looks fantastic. Enjoying watching a, a good manager manage a game, too. Bruce Bochy, I'm telling you, man, it makes a difference. I know I'll be on repeat on that quite a bit, but it makes a difference, man. 1-0 on Leody Tavares. Tavares 0 for 1 today with a walk and a stolen base. The 1-0. In there for a strike, 1-1. Everyone that leaves the Yankees just gets better. Maybe Boone will too, but I'll uh, I'll take that risk. <laughs> I'll take that risk that Boone could go manage elsewhere. Maybe he'll be a better manager. God bless him. In the dirt, two and one. Ah, Dusty Baker doesn't need to retire. Why does everybody want the poor guy out the game for? <laughs> what did Dusty do? He just won a chip. He just won a chip. Dusty Baker don't gotta retire. Keep managing, Dusty. Keep doing your thing until you're ready to go into the Hall of Fame, my friend. The 2-1 incoming. Foul the way. Count as 2-2. Two two. What does him being old have to do with anything? Maybe he likes to work. Why does his age got to limit what he does? He's still a great manager. Shouldn't limit what he does. He has an excellent team. He does a great job. He's a great pitcher. He's a guy. Excuse me. He's a great manager. Pitch is hit in the air to right center field from Leone Tavares. Racing back. Ah, it'll be over everybody's head. That's got to be a triple. Leone going to third and he's in there. A one out triple for Leone Tavares. Holy shit. Almost goes deep to right center field. Almost goes out. Off the bottom of the wall, and I knew that was a triple off the bat. No question about it. No question about it. Hanger. He almost hit that ball to France. Off of France. Didn't get the proper launch he wanted to put that one out, but I'll take the triple all day. Pitches fouled away from Marcus Simeon, count as 0-1. Mad Max is going on uh, game four. Game three, excuse me. Simeon two for three today having his best game. The 0-1. Line caught, double play. Ain't nothing you could do about that. That's just bad luck. There is nothing you can do about that. That is just bad luck. A bullet hit right to Bregman, and they easily... Double up Leody Tavares. There's nothing, 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 nothing that you can do about that. That is pure bad luck. 
That's what they call hitting in the bad luck. That's exactly what that just was. That is hitting in the bad luck all day. We are 15 subbies away from 19,650 as we work our way to 20K. Appreciate you guys so much. Been another good game. I mean, this postseason, you know, the Yankees aren't in it, unfortunately, but they don't deserve to be, by the way. If anybody in here is like, oh, Yankee fan wants the Yankees to be in it, they don't deserve it. They didn't deserve to be there. I'll just say this. This postseason has been fantastic. And I'll also say this. I think the two best teams in the American League are playing right now for the championship of their of their respected league. <laughs> okay. Have to love playoff baseball. Yes, sir. Big wheeze. No doubt about it. Playoff baseball is special baseball. I love watching it. Your team don't even have to be in it to enjoy it, man. It's just it's just great to watch. It really is. Bottom of the sixth. Big, big bats coming up. Tucker Alvarez and Abreu. And I believe, I believe you still got to go with Nate Evaldi. Let him get you through six. See how he looks. You got to give him the chance to keep going in this game. I know a lot of people go, hey, man, you know, he's done enough. That was a stressful inning. You got you to gotta let him come out in the sixth, in my opinion. I know you got the lefties up for Tucker and Alvarez, but those two guys are back-to-back -back either way. You could use those guys later. I got to take the risk and see if he can get me through six. I cannot pull him right here. No way. Bullpen's not great of the Rangers. Give him a shot. Play it by ear now. Play it by batter right here in this situation. <clears throat> as, of course, we're waiting for the longest commercials of the season to finish up. All righty then, folks. Here we go. Bottom six. Nate Evaldi back out there, as he should be. The pitch. 1-0 to Tucker. Tucker 0 for 2 today. It'll be Tucker, Alvarez, and Abreu coming up. 0 for 2 today. Line out and a pop out. 5-2. to two. Rangers lead. Pitch. Hit on the ground. Foul. 1-1. One one. Splitter. Cutter. Curveball. Heater. It's so what Nate of all these shows, and let me tell you something, man. It is a complete arsenal. It is a complete arsenal for Nate of Aldi. The one-one is line foul. Good rip by Tucker, and the count is one and two. Two sixty-five in here right now, guys. Do me a favor, hit that like button for me. It truly helps our channel out as we work our way to twenty thousand subscribers. Thank you. The one-two, hey, struck him out. Hey! Struck him out. Huge K for Nate. And good thing is, it brings up Jordan Alvarez with nobody on base. That's what you want. If you're a Rangers fan, you want to see this guy up with nobody on base all the time. 61 Kennedy, thank you so much for subbing. Pitches inside, almost hits him with a cutter. And the count is 1-0. and 1-0 on Jordan Alvarez. One of the best in the game, folks. The 1-0. And I tell you what, if he doesn't have Big Poppy vibes, I don't know who does. I think he's the best since Big Poppy when it comes to the big game, the big game bopper, the big game masher. I think he's the guy. I think he's the guy. Ness, bingo. Here's a call strike, two and one. This postseason has proven that the nerds need to get back to 
the basements only bring out spreadsheets when you are summoned. Give the, give the information. They could be hired. They could have a whole analytic department. But it needs to be funneled. The right information. 2-1 is low. 3-1. and one. Look at the managers in this thing, folks. I don't think it's a coincidence. Dusty Baker, been around forever. Bochi, been around forever. Uh, Rob Thompson, been around forever. And Tori Lavolo, been around forever. Also in a Yankees organization, by the way. 3-1. Ooh, doesn't get the call. That was a strike. Wow, does not get the call. That was right there on the corner. And there you go, right on cue. Fox just puts up Jordan Alvarez and David Ortiz side by side. Look at that. <laughs> Look at that. That's interesting. Pitch is a call. The strike on the corner to Abreu. So not a lot of speed on the base with Alvarez. I wouldn't say he's slow, but definitely not, not a burner on the bases. And uh, Abreu, definitely not a burner. Ball hit on the ground. You got an easy chance at a double play. The 0-1 is in there for a call strike. Beautiful pitch, 0-2. Yeah, this, this ump has been a bit off. No doubt about it. That was his first walk of the postseason for Nate Evaldi. Mind you, when Nate Evaldi came to the Yankees, guys... All he had was a fastball and no command. His career probably progressed the way it should have. He probably went to the teams that could really help him. The 0-2. Hey! Struck him out. Two away. Nasty Nate Ivaldi is doing it again. He is doing it again right now. Big at bat here for Michael Brantley. Looking to continue this bottom of the sixth. Pitch. There's a call strike, man. He got command of that splitter, doesn't he? That sp he uses that splitter like a changeup. It's unbelievable. It's unbelievable. He uses that split like a changeup. Throws it for strikes whenever he wants. The 0-1. Hit in the air to center field. It could be trouble. On the run, it's over his head. That might score, Alvarez. The throw in. Throw home. Not in time. It's a 5-3 to three game. And huge hit right there for Michael Brantley. 5-3 to three Rangers lead. That is big. That is a huge two-out hit. For the Houston Astros. Beaut I mean, look, what can you say about Michael Brantley? What can you say? That is a great piece of hitting. He just does an amazing job going to left field. So that will bring up McCormick. Pitch. Swing and a miss. Big splitter. 0-1. Brantley is a stud in big games, Big Wheeze. I'm right there with you, man. Just phenomenal. No, I don't go to the pen right now. I let him get McCormick. Uh, Pena coming up next. I let him face McCormick. Pitch. Swing and a miss. 0-2. 0-2. But I will say this. He gets me through six. He could go sit down for the rest of the day. Get him through six, and that's it. And that's it. Let it he did his job. My pen got to take over now. Oh, two. Hey, struck him out. Good morning. Good afternoon. Buenos noche. That'll end the inning. We will go to the top of the seventh. Texas coming on up. And let me say something real quick. The Houston Astros bullpen is the reason this game is close right now. Three shutout innings, the fourth, the fifth, the sixth. Can they continue it? Can they continue it? We're going to find out. We are going to find out. Quality start by Nate Aldi. That is true. That is true. 
Fritz, I'm right there with you. I do not want Jordan Montgomery back on the Yankees. And look, uh, I, I'm not, I'm not saying Jordan Montgomery's a bad pitcher. I am actually looking out for Jordan Montgomery. Jordan Montgomery should stick with the Texas Rangers if he's smart. Don't come back to the Yankees. Don't come back to the Yankees. Stick with the Rangers. If I'm Monty, I'm staying right there. Alvin Brock. What's up, brother? Thank you so much for being a member for four months, my friend. And guys, by the way, we are revamping our membership packages. We're going to be discussing that as uh, with my team um, this week, uh, this, this week now. And we'll release all that information when we gather it. But we definitely want to make it much more valuable to you guys. <clears throat> Top of the seventh inning coming up. I tell you what, the Rangers need to score some runs. They're nine outs away from being up two games to nothing. But they need some insurance runs and need them quick. Rich, what's going on, my guy? How you doing, Rich? Dorth? Dorthius. <laughs> What's going on, man? Cashman doesn't deserve Monty back. You know, after that bullshit he says, if I'm Monty, I look at them and go, hey, look, yeah, I'll come back. You better double. Overpay me. All right, see you later. Overpay. You have to overpay to keep me there with you guys. I am not signing anything. Overpay. Show me the money. Show me the money is what you'll have to do. Would be a good call by Monty and his agent, too. The hell with the Yankees. They thought uh, they didn't think you could handle big games. The hell with them. The hell with them. All right, here we go. Stepping in first will be Corey Seeger. And on the mound is J.P. France. Pitch. In there for a call strike. Count as 0-1-1. Show me the money. Show me the money. 1-1 one and one on Seager. Seager 1 for 3 today. Valdi likely done. Talking with Mad Max. The 1-1. One, one. Fouled away. Big rip by Seeger. He got his pitch. Change up that stayed over the plate and he fouls it away. It's fairly important right here that the Rangers add some runs. Their bullpen isn't the greatest. We know that. Bochi has done a good job kind of managing it. The one, two. In the dirt. Two and two. In the dirt. Two and two. And you see Spores warming up. Maybe the same way Bochi went with it yesterday. He may try to go today. Spores, Chapman, LeClerc. 2-2. Two, two, high. 3-2. Three 3-2 and two. Three and two on Corey Seager. One of the guys that Texas bought. People used to say such bad things about the Yankees. <gasps> they want to buy players. That's helped Texas pretty well. 3-2. Fouled away off his foot, off his ankle, it looked like. Going to take a couple of steps. Look like he's okay. I had to leave a mark. I had to leave a mark. <clears throat> the 3-2. He walked him. Oh, they say he went around. Wow. They say Seeger went around. I need a side angle here. He went. He went around. He went around. Good call by the third play, third base off. He went around. He went around there. Look at look at the side angle. He went around there. Pitch to Evan Carter is a call strike. Count as 0-1-1. <clears throat> Oh, and one on Carter. He did not start today's game, but once Valdez was out, he came in. That is low one and one. 
Texas needs runs, man. I'm telling you. Houston has chipped away and have chipped away and have chipped away. It's only a two-run ball game. Call strike. Beautiful pitch by JP France. A little Bobby Ross action right there. We don't make mistakes. We have happy accidents. And the count is one and two. The one, two, and coming. Outside corner just misses. Two and two. Two and one third inning so far, so far for JP France. One hit, one K. Nothing else. He's done a good job for Dusty Baker. Good call. Inside count is now three and two. Back to back full counts. To begin the top of the seventh inning. No damage done yet by the Rangers. <laughs> Who's available for Boone tonight? He's looking at the bullpen budget. Don't worry about it. <laughs> He's looking at the budget. He walked them. Oh, baby. Walk on by. So Evan Carter with the walk. And that'll bring up Adolis Garcia, who I am waiting to hit a monster home run. I love when that guy connects with one. Whew. See you later. See you later, baby. See you later, baby. Guys, let's try to get the 200 likes today. We got 240 plus in here right now. Let's try to get the 200 likes. Why not? Be a little mound visit here. They're going to say, hey, be careful with that change. I'm actually, they're going to take out JP France. So France is done. I want to say, is that Matan maybe coming in? I can't tell. I think it might be. Oh, well, we'll have a commercial break. As they will go ahead and make the pitching swap. There is one away, Christopher. One out. Wes Westbrook. What is going on, my guy? How you doing? How you doing? Phil Maton is indeed the pitcher coming in for the Astros. As Texas has not scored since the third inning. Texas has not scored since the third inning, man. They desperately need to add a little more pressure. They need to add a little more pressure to the Astros because the Astros just keep chipping away. They keep chipping away. Yeah, man, MMAC, there's just certain guys that the ball just flies off the bat, and those two guys are one of them. Those two guys are certainly one of them that do that. No doubty abouty. No doubty about it. Yep, Nick, I agree with you. Two runs is absolutely nothing. That is correct. That is indeed correct. All righty then, as again, sorry guys for these long ass commercials, Major League Major League Baseball trying to make that moolah, you know how it goes for baseball, they ain't playing, the same time to make that money bags, okay, gotta make them money bags, baby, gotta make them money bags, all right, here we go, Phil Maton. Pitch to Garcia from Matan. Pitch outside 1 0. Runner on first base for the Rangers, 1 away. 1 0 count. Can Phil Matan do what JP Franz did and hold down the Rangers? 1 0 pitch. Swings and misses at a ball all the way upstairs. And the count is one and one on Garcia, shaking his head, new and knowing he shouldn't have swung at that pitch. The 
The 1-1 one, one incoming to Adolis. Pickoff attempt. He's back. Back is Evan Carter. Good speed on the bases. Carter could definitely run the bags. Above average speed. The 1-1. One, one. Outside. 2-1. and one. Two and one. Again, thank you guys for all the support today. We are three subscribers away from 19,640. The 2-1 from Matan. Hit on the ground softly. Going to be a tough play. Fields, fires. Got him at first. Good play by Alex Bregman. That'll move... Carter to second base, and the batter will be Mitch Carver. Two outs. Runner on second. Two outs. Runner on second base. Five to three Rangers lead. I'm telling you guys, I feel like every one of these games are going to be close. I think every one of these games is going to be close. Big at bat here for Garver. Pitch. Outside, 1-0. Oh. This is a big A-B. If Garver could drive that run in, you put this lead back to three, you know you got to feel so much better about your bullpen than you do with two runs. So one run is a big difference. Outside, 2-0. and oh. On deck is Jonah Heim. Being a switch hitter, that'll turn him around to the right side. Excuse me, to the left side. Two and zero on Garver could be a beautiful pitch to hit. It is, and he fouls it right back to Matan. Makes the play. That'll end the inning. We will go to the bottom of the seventh. Astros coming on up. Joey Stella, what's going on, Joey? How you doing, brother? And guys, if you give me a second, I will be right back with you. Smack that like button, folks. Come on, let's get to 200 and hit that subscribe. If you have not, appreciate you guys. I'll be right back. But up, but up, but up. 
Oh, there's Booney, 2003 ALCS. Look at Booney sending the Yankees to the World Series. Now he's uh, killing the Yankees as the manager. All right, why do they got to show me that for? I don't want to see Booney. I don't want to see Booney, damn it. I've seen enough of Booney all season. I don't want to see him again. Spanky's chilling. Right over here relaxing next to the championship belt. Swinging a miss. 0-1 as Josh Spores takes over. Tony. What's going on, Tony? How you doing, my friend? Tony. T -t -t Tony. The 01 is outside. One and one. Texas Eagle. What's going on, Texas Eagle? Dylan Matthew Greer. What's going on, guys? How's everybody doing today? How you doing? How you doing? 1-1 one, one from Spores. Swing and a miss. And if you help Spores and you chase pitches out of the zone, he's going to get you. Spores is definitely a bit wild. As the count is 1-2 and two on Jeremy Pena. 1-2 and two on Jeremy Pena. Hirsch, what's going on, my guy? Outside, 2-2. Two and two. Huge moments in this game, folks. The Rangers are nine outs away. Nine outs away. 2-2. Two -two. Fouled away. We'll do it again. Spores could throw the baseball, like I said, a bit wild. You don't ever want to see him get to that three ball count. Oh, yeah. Boone would have pulled Nate. He probably would have pulled Nate with bases loaded. 2-2. Two -two. Hit on the ground to short. Fires over. Eight outs away. Rangers now eight outs away from taking a two-game to nothing lead. Over to Houston Astros. Pitch. There's a call strike. I love that he's getting ahead with off-speed pitches. Always a good idea when a guy has a, a bit of a command problem. Find that off-speed pitch that you know you could just break and snap over the plate and get ahead. Tries it again there. Just went a bit high. The count is one and one on Diaz. Who pinch hit with the bases loaded for Maldonado and struck out. Huge moment in this game. <clears throat> Hit on the ground, a short. There's Seeger. Two away. And just like that, Spores with two quick outs. And the Rangers are now seven outs away, and it is the top of the order. Here's the good thing. If you get Altuve here, the eighth inning would be Bregman Tucker Alvarez. You may have a chance that you will not have to face the top of the order again. Swing and a miss, 0-1. Thank you, Jacob. I appreciate that, brother. Guys, do me a favor, guys. Hit that like button, baby. Let's go. Let's go, baby. There's a call strike, 0-2. Josh Spores looking to have a very quick inning here. And Altuve get him. And guys, right after this inning, I'm going to run upstairs and grab my cup of tea. I had to get the water going. Just so everybody's aware, I'm just going to jump away for that really quickly again. Grab my cup of tea. Come back downstairs. <clears throat> I got a whole nother game to call after this. I'm calling NL, uh, NLCS game one. Diamondbacks at Phillies. That is starting at the top of the hour. It's almost 7 o'clock here in the East Coast now. Two and two. That game begins at 8.07. So maybe, just maybe, I'll have a, a quick little downtime. As there is Abreu warming up. He'll likely pitch the top of the eighth for the Astros. 2-2. Two -two. Who misses outside? 3-2. and two. And this is the last thing that you want. No 
walks. You got to let him hit the ball here. Cannot look to be too cute. Throw him strikes. Can't look to be too cute right here. You got to go right at him. Got to go right at him. 3-2. Hey! Struck him the fuck out. Holy shit. Caught him freezing. Hey! Struck him out. No, oh, what a play. What a pitch by Josh Spores. Very rarely do you catch Altuve just looking like that. That is a big pitch. Guys, give me a second. I'll be right back. Let me grab my tea. All right, folks, we are back in business. What a game two it has been so far. Very close game. As Houston looking to battle back, it looks like it'll be Abreu in. Brian Abreu to face Haim Lowe and Josh Young. Top of the eighth inning, 5-3. to three. Rangers lead. Looking to take a two-game to nothing lead. Very impressive, I got to be honest. And Bruce Bochy, as of right now, I don't want to talk too soon, but he is hitting, he's hitting all, he's, he's just hitting every right button. He is hitting every right button right now. Let's switch back over to the motherboard. Let's go ahead and close this out. Pitch is a call strike to Jonah Heim, who has homered in today's game. One seven five ERA for Abreu on the season. He was fantastic. The old ones outside one and one. Houston knows they need to hold it right here. They still got six outs to play with. That is more than enough. That is more than enough. The one one is fouled away, and the count is one and two on Jonah Heim. This series picks up again again on Wednesday for Game 3. Mad Max will make that start. Ooh, hey, struck him out. Got a hanger, but just swung through it. One away. Look at that Nate Avaldi, man. He throws a splitter, a fastball, a cutter, and a curveball. Basically use all moving fastballs. Different movements on those pitches. A splitter is thrown like a fastball. This ball hit in the air to center field. Ranging back as Pena makes the catch. Two away. But everything is thrown. Splitter is thrown like a fastball. Different finger movements. Cutter thrown like a fastball. Different finger movements. 
Fastball there, and then, of course, the curveball's thrown different than the fastball, but that's really the only big look. But, hey, when you got control and you have movement, you don't need much else. You don't need six or seven different pitches. It's five. You throw, throw varieties of a couple of pitches, and you're good to go. As the first pitch is high to Josh Young, 1-0. and oh. The 1 0 and coming to Josh Young pitch. Low, 2 0. Hank says Josh is due. The Rangers definitely need a big hit. They could use a homer. They could use a long ball, no doubt about it. Have not scored since the third inning. Will that lead hold? 2 0 is fouled away. And the count is 2 and 1. A 2-1 in coming to Young. He swings and he misses. 2-2. Two and two. Big swing upstairs. 2-2 two and two count. Two two in coming from Brian Abreu. Ah, two two to Young. Pitch. Hey, low! Wow. Umpire fooled me. Fooled everybody. They were all leaving the field. I thought he struck him out. The umpire says, "No, no, no, not today." Not today. Three and two on Josh Young. Hey, he struck him out. Had some swinging. That'll end the inning. We go to the bottom of the eighth. Astros coming on up. It'll be Bregman, Tucker, and Alvarez, folks. This could be the game. And I would kind of be shocked, to be honest. If you don't see Chapman here, I think this got to be Chapman. You got Bregman followed by two lefties. They're not going to pinch hit these guys. It's probably the way you go. And then you also got Brantley, the lefty. So if there's any any time that you would go to a roll this Chapman, now is the time. This is, this is the inning you would indeed do it. I know it's a two-run lead. It's got to be a bit scary with Chappie coming in. But that got to be the go. That's got to be it. <clears throat> and guys thank you so much we are 10 subscribers away from today's goal of 19,650 as we work our way towards 20,000 subscribers like I said before guys we'll be calling every game the remainder of the postseason I think the schedule kind of works out for that. So I'll be calling all of these. Um, every now and then, if there's back-to-back -back games for the championship series, maybe I'll call one. Today I am calling both. But it'll be Chappie. Chappie versus Bregman, Tucker, and Alvarez. So basically what I'm saying is if you're watching and you're not sub, come hang out with us. It definitely helps the channel out, helps us get to our goal of Mission 20K. We are not far away from that goal. You guys are the best. You guys are the best. As again, it will be a roll this Chapman coming into pitch. <clears throat> six outs away, folks. Literally six outs away for the Texas Rangers to take a two-game-to-nothing lead over the defending champion, Houston Astros. Unbelievable. Unbelievable. CD, what's going on? How you doing? 
How you doing, everybody? Here we go. Bottom eight. Big moment coming on up. Chapman versus the Astros. It hasn't always gone good. Put it that way. One second, guys. Ah, pitch. Popped up. Big out. Who's it going to be? Leody makes the catch. One away. That is a big friggin' out on one damn pitch. That is a big out for Chapman. Really big. Really big. One pitch, one out, five outs away are the Rangers. They'll face two lefties, Tucker and Alvarez. Pitch from Chapman. Swing and a miss. 99 miles an hour. 0 oh and 1. Chapman started his season with the Kansas City Royals, and he finishes right now with a team that is three wins away from going to a World Series, the 0-1. Way outside, 1-1. One and one. <clears throat> The 1-1 one, one incoming to Tucker. Pitches outside 2-1. And, and again, you got a two-run lead. Do not walk anybody. Ooh, that's hot. The 2-1 pitch. Did he go? No, he did not. 3-1 and one on Kyle Tucker. On deck. Jordan Alvarez. Tucker hits lefties very, very well. The 3-1. Call strike on the corner. Count is now 3-2. and two. Full count. Yuri, what's up, brother? I you don't. I you don't. I you don't. Three, two, hit on the ground to second base. Two away. Huge out. Rangers are four outs away. And look at this. You get to face Alvarez with the most damage he can do is make this a one-run ball game. That is how you need to play it. Excellent job done so far again this series. Two games now by Bruce Bochy and his team is executed. Very, very solid job done. So nobody on, two outs. Pitch to Alvarez, hit in the air to right field and deep. Oh, just like that. It is a one-run game. That's why I said it. There's nobody better than Alvarez, folks. It's that simple. There is nobody better than Alvarez. And that's why you had to face him with nobody on. Five to four game. Second of the day. There's nobody like him. You got to give credit where credit's due. There's nobody like him. There is nobody like Alvarez, folks. Just unbelievable. That's why the outs were big. Have nobody on base. Have nobody on base. Guy is unreal. Shelbo, thank you so much for subbing. I appreciate it. And there's going to be a mound visit here. As Jose Abreu is going to be the batter. I tell you what. Let me tell you guys something right now. I go to Leclerc. <laughs> I go to LeClerc, man. That's three batters. I go to LeClerc. And Bochy is. Very good call. I would have did the same thing. I would have did the same thing. I would not let him face Abreu. I go to LeClerc. You got to finish this thing off. Good call. Good call here by, by Bruce Bochy. No matter how this works out, that is the way to go. That's the way to go right there. That's a roll this Chapman for you, man. You know, he gives it up. Get him out. Get him out. He gets two outs, gives up a home run. 
Bochi pulls them. Three batters. See you later. That's what I would do right there. I wouldn't wa- I wouldn't put anybody on base here for free, Hank. I wouldn't give anybody a base for free right here. Look, Brantley looks really good right now. I don't care who he's facing. Brantley looks like he's on his game. I let somebody face Abreu here. I don't I don't walk somebody just to put, God forbid, Brantley homers then. You're done. You know, if they're going to do something, let them homer. Let it be a tie game. I do not walk anybody just to face another batter. I don't give them that opportunity. I don't give them that opportunity right here. I, I, I agree with this move 100% by Bruce Bochy. That's exactly what I would have done. That's exactly what I would have done. It's a closer. This is the closer situation here. One run, four outs. Go with the closer, man. You're going to win or lose with this guy, and you got to try it. You got to go for it. You got to go for it. Got to go for it. As guys, we are seven subs away from today's goal of 19,650. As we get closer and closer to 20,000 subscribers. You guys are the best, man. Thank you so much, everybody. Why the hell he keeps calling on Chapman is mind-blowing. I'm okay with that, though. With the batters that was up, look, you gotta, you're going to win or lose with Chapman. They don't have, he don't have a shit ton in this pen. I mean, you're going to win or lose with Chapman. Um, I don't know how they're going to utilize a guy like Martin Perez, but he's a lefty that maybe you could go to in some of these situations. Not really a flamethrower, but um, I, I, I don't know, man. Um, They're going to have to figure out something, but, you know, that's Chapman there. I would have went with a matchup against Tucker and Alvarez. I know both of those guys hit lefties well. He's the eighth inning guy, man. They, they don't have a great bullpen. So here is Jose LeClerc. He's been good in the postseason. Two saves, and this is a big one. Here's Abreu. Pitch. In there for a strike on the corner. Beautiful pitch. 0-1. LeClerc is looking to make a major name for himself here. The 0-1 to Abreu. Did he go? He went. He went. No! Come on! Come the fuck on! He didn't go! One and one count on Abreu as they say he didn't go. Look, he almost took a full swing there. The one one from Leclerc. Outside, two and one. Leclerc does get wild, no doubt about it. He does get wild. He certainly gets wild. Count is two and one. Big moment in this game, folks. It's like Abreu takes a timeout. Count remains 2-1-1. Two 2-1 one, one. Two, one pitch. Doesn't get the call. 3-1. and one. Brantley on deck. Got to challenge him here, man. You got to challenge him. Got to challenge him. You got to challenge him. 3-1 pitch. He walked him. Oh, baby, walk on by. So he walks Abreu, and that will bring up Michael Brantley. Two for three today, and here comes Mike Maddox. Alvarez is such an amazing hitter, man. And, and, and you see just... Look at the plate coverage that Alvarez has to pull a baseball. It is unbelievable. Alvarez is on friggin' believable, man. Really amazing. Most home runs, first six, six games, single postseason. He got six. Tied with Stanton back in 2020. COVID season. Hit that like button and subscribe if you have not, folks. Huge moment in this game. Huge moment in this game. 
Brantley has been terrific today. Pitch from LeClerc. Low. 1-0. Jose LeClerc is wild at times, folks. <clears throat> On deck is McCormick. The 1-0. Pitch. Outside. 2-0. and oh. It's unbelievable. One big player can do for your club, and that is what Alvarez does for Houston. They're never out because of him. They're never out because of him. The 2-0. 3-0. LeClerc is looking to hand it over to Houston. And Bochy has no other move, really. This had to be the move. 3-0. Pitch. He walks him. Four-pitch walk to Brantley. And that will bring up McCormick. First and second, two outs. Jeff J. Says, let's go NYYU. Hitty to subby and smacky to likey. And fire the trash can. Pitch is low, 1-0. and oh, Holy shit. LeClerc has lost all command. 1-0 on oh McCormick. Minute Maid Park is going bananas. This could get ugly quick. The 1-0. Oh. Swing and a miss. 1-1. One and one. Let me tell you something. LeClerc throws about 97 plus. Dial some darts in there. Dial some darts in there. Stop being so cute. Dial them darts in there, baby. First and second, two outs. 1-1. One, one. Hit on the ground, a third. Feels. Bobble steps on the bag just in time. That'll end the inning. Big out for LeClerc. Josh Young bobbled it a little bit. Thankfully, he just steps on the bag, never panicked. And we go to the top of the ninth. Five to four. Rangers lead. What a game. Told you guys this was going to be the series right here, man. I knew it. I knew this was going to be the series right here. What a ball game. Top of the ninth coming up, 7-21. Here on the East Coast, we got game one of the NLCS up next. That is an 8.07 start time. I'll be starting up that one at about 8.05. That is going to be on a different link. So if you're on my YouTube channel now, guys, if you go to live videos, you'll see it right there. But it's going to be a different. Um, You guys will have to obviously exit this one and go into the other one. If you want to enjoy the game with me, I hope you do. Well, uh, nail biter. I, I said it, didn't I not? I said it. I said that that's what this series is going to be. I don't see any. I don't see any big games and beatdowns happening. I don't see that with these teams. I think they're going to be hard-fought games. Jordan carrying the Astros. That's what he does. That's what he does, Charge. That's who he is, man. He's. Let me tell you something, man. If you got that guy on your team like Houston is blessed to have, you're never out of a game. You're just never out of a game. He's too good. He is too good. <clears throat> he is too good. Got a guy like that, you don't have to worry, man. I'll get you there. <clears throat> All right, this is a bad time for my MLB TV to want to mess up on me. Not a good time to do this. Come on, MLB TV. What are we doing here? Not the right time to mess up on me, buddy. As, ooh, they're going to go to Ryan Presley here. They know they need to hold that lead exactly where it is. They know they got to keep it a one-run game. 
So Houston's closer, Ryan Presley, comes in. Let me tell you something. This would be big for Texas to work him hard. If Texas can maybe get a few guys on, on board, maybe scrap a run, that would be very big for their confidence against him in this series. Presley, one of the one of the better closers, especially in the postseason, has done a great job for the Astros. Top of the ninth. Five to four ball game. The Rangers are three outs away from taking a two game to nothing lead. <clears throat> It'll be Leody Tavares, Marcus Simeon, and Corey Seeger. Here we go. Pitch. Low. One and oh. It would be very, very big for the Rangers to do some damage against Presley here. This is a big moment for Texas. The 1 0. Low, 2 0. Leody Tavares is a guy you would love to get on base early with the top of the order coming up. Presley did struggle a bit in the regular season, but he really bears down in the postseason. He's been a big postseason pitcher. 3-0 and on Leody. <clears throat> Rangers have not scored since the third. Second, fourth, sixth, and eighth. One run each inning for Houston. The 3-0. He walks him. A four-pitch walk for Tavares. Oh, baby. That's big. Walk on by. <clears throat> That's big. That is big. Leadoff walk for Leody Tavares. Good speed on the bases. A four-pitch walk. As we are five subscribers away from today's goal. Thank you guys so much. Here's Marcus Simeon. Pitch. Hit in the air, foul. Simeon two for four today. Texas will love to see Marcus Simeon get hot. As he's been quiet the majority of the postseason. The 0-1 from Presley. Outside, 1-1. One one. Can't get tired of playoff baseball, folks. It's something else. It is something else. 1-1 one, one incoming pitch. High gets away. Leone will take second. That is big. Presley's all over the place. God, I tell you guys what right now. I know you think it might be crazy. Might have to drop a button here. Oh, it's tempting, boy. Oh, it's tempting. Corey Seager up. Ah, oh, man. 2-1 incoming to Seager. Fouled away, and the count is 2-2. Two and two. I guess you forget that right now. I know, that's, I know some people don't like the bunt right there, but I tell you, man, in a situation like that, maybe catch them a little sleepy. Get a runner on third. Just get a run across the board. 180 feet away from scoring. Get that run in. Two and two on Seeger. Pitch from Presley. Hey! Struck him out. Big. That is big. One away. Big K for Ryan Presley. That's big. Ah, man, I'm telling you, I would have bunted right there. When you had one strike, that's the moment. Got to try to lay down a bunt right there, in my opinion. Well, here's Corey Seeger. Fouled away. 0 and 1. <clears throat> that was Simeon that struck out, yes. 0 and 1 on Corey Seeger. The 0 1 pitch from Presley. Low, 1 and 1. I 
I had to call the bunt right there, man. Leoti got such good speed. I know you believe in your guys to hit the ball over to second base potentially, but in this game, in such a big moment, that run is huge. Hit on the ground to first base. Takes it himself, two away. Leoti moves up to third. Had to bring up Evan Carter. Texas is 90 feet away from taking a two-run lead, and my God, would that be huge. A two-run lead would be huge. Let's see if Carter can come through. <clears throat> Pitch from Presley. Fouled away, 0-1. And Mac, it's not like Philly. <laughs> I can tell you that. It's not like Philly, not at all. The 0 1 incoming pitch. Hit on the ground to first. That is a foul ball. We'll go back and do that one again. Count is now 0 and 2 on Evan Carter. Oh, I'm right there with you, man. This run at third base is critical, in my opinion, for Texas. Jose LeClerc doesn't look like he has great command. One-run game. Whew. Talk about a nail-biter, man. The 0-2 to Carter pitch. Doesn't chase. Great pitch by Presley. One and two. No, Carter is very good. 21 years old. Came up late in the year and just lit the world on fire and continued it in the postseason. He's been very good. The one-two. Fouled away. Another curveball, a little more up in the zone. Carter fights it off. Count remains one and two. What a game two. Been a great game one and a great game two. I believe these are the two best teams in the American League. I think they both deserve to be here. As there be a mound visit here with Presley. <clears throat> As Carter is fighting off that curveball pretty well. I look to freeze him on the outside corner with a heater. I like Evan Carter. The little bit I've seen of Evan Carter, I think he's going to be a special player. The one-two incoming. Pitch from Ryan Presley. Fouled away. Stays upstairs on a slider. One and two. The one, two, high, two and two. On deck is Adolis Garcia. Runner on third base, two outs. Carter's looking to make it a lot tougher on Houston. Can he get a huge hit right here? Or will Presley retire him and give his team Chance to score with it being only a one-run game. Pitch. Outside, three and two. Three and two. <clears throat> on Evan Carter. Runner on third base, two away. Big pitch in his game. The three-two. Pitch. Hit on the ground, a second, Altuve there, got him. Good job by Presley. We go to the bottom of the ninth. One run. Rangers lead, it'll be Jose LeClerc versus Pena, Diaz, and Altuve.
Be right back, guys. Give me a second, and we'll wrap this game up. Oh, man. Here we go, folks. Here we go, folks. Bottom of the ninth inning. One run game. Is Jose LeClerc going to be able to do it? We about to find out, folks. Man, oh, man. What a game this has been. A nail biter. I figured every one of these games were going to be tight games. But man, oh man, tight isn't the word in this one. One run game. 5 8 1 Texas, 4 6 2 Houston. And here we go. <clears throat> here we go, folks. Here we go. Mario, who do you got, Mario? Are they finishing this one off or what? Hey, finishing this one off. Here's Pena. Got to get these first outs. Pitch in there for a strike. Good pitch right there by LeClerc. And the count is 0-1. Hank. Hank is at the edge of his seat right now. The 0-1. Swing and a miss 0-2. <clears throat> Beautiful cutter by LeClerc. And he is one strike away from getting Pena. The 0 2 incoming from LeClerc. See if he sticks to that outside corner. The 0 2. Outside 1 and 2. Not close. I don't feel great about this one either, to be honest with everybody. I don't feel great about this. <clears throat> Top of the order is going to be up this inning. <clears throat> you can't get one of these eight or nine guys on base. Pitches in the air to right field. Going back. Right before the wall. Garcia makes the catch. One away. Whew. Pena gave it a ride, but he gets it right at the wall. One away. Two outs to go. And the Rangers will take a two game to nothing lead. <laughs> David. I feel you, brother. I feel you. Here's Diaz pitch. Hit in the air to right field, foul, 0-1. You need LeClerc to get ahead. He has to do exactly what he's doing. He has to get ahead of batters here. 
<clears throat> on deck is Altuve. The 0-1 to Diaz. Pitch. Outside, 1-1. One and one. Hit that like button for me, folks, and subscribe if you have not. We got game one of the ANLCS coming up right after this. As the 1-1 one, one from LeClerc. Hit on the ground. Diving stop. Fires over. Got him. Ah, oh, Josh Young again. Makes up for the error earlier. Two away. Look at Josh Young. No panic. Gets to his feet and fires. And here is Jose Altuve. Two outs. Nobody on. The Rangers one out away from starting this series 2-0. Heading the globe life for games 3, 4, and 5. Pitch to Altuve. Inside 1-0. Don't get cute. Don't get cute here, man. Don't get cute. <clears throat> Do not get cute here. The 1 0 pitch. Outside 2 and 0. Oh. Man, oh man, I tell you, folks. This is worrisome. This is where I get worried. 2 0. Oh. You got to pitch to him here. Got to pitch to him. Pitch. In there for a strike 2 and 1. Nice pitch on the corner. <clears throat> easier said than done, but you cannot walk him to face Bregman. You got to go after him. 2-1. Low, 3-1. and one. Winning run would come to the plate if Bregman gets a chance. The 3-1 incoming to Altuve. Pitch from LeClerc. In the air to center field. Not deep. Ball game over. The Rangers get it done. Nate Ivaldi with a great outing again. The Rangers bullpen once again survives. I cannot believe it. But the Rangers bullpen survives yet Again. Wow. Wow. Globe Life Field, I think, is going to be a lot louder than Minute Made. They are two wins away from going to the World Series. The win goes to Nate Avaldi, 3 0. The loss goes to Framber Baldez, 0 oh, 2. Save goes to LeClerc. Unbelievable. What a job done. By the Texas Rangers. But again, you can never count the World Series champs out. You never know. Houston could get right back into series. But this is everything you wanted. If you're Bruce Bochy and the Texas Rangers. But guys, we have another game to call coming up in just a few minutes. Gives me a little bit of a break. I'll be right back with you guys. Starting around 8.05. Game 1 of the NLCS is coming on up. I'll see you guys in a few minutes. Peace, baby. Can't make a promise, but I do my best. 25 sitting on 25 racks. Just got started, no, we ain't done yet. But a new crib, that's a goddamn flex. Sign that check. Told them last year that I've been up next. Can't take calls, but I send that text. From way downtown, but it's shit.